The plain is Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I loves me some black. And she said, loves me some <laughs> black news. She says, is it just me? Or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? I'm your girl, the plainest Jane. And let's see what's happening in these virtual streets. You ready? All right now. <laughs> this will be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. What up and welcome back. It's your girl Jane, the plainest Jane, and we got some syrup to get into. Happy New Year. This is my first official new stream of the new year. For all of y'all who really rock with me, y'all know we did a New Year stream. We counted down in two different time zones. We counted down the Eastern Standard Time, and then the next hour we counted down again. Y'all know all the different time zones. So we have some stuff we need to get into. Come on in, pay your fare, okay? Feel free to donate to the Cash App, 2 $3, whatever you can afford, or donate for free by hitting that like button. Of course, you need to subscribe and hit that notification bell. The first thing that I want to talk about, there's something going on right now with football, and it's really devastating. This year is starting off with a lot of violence, a lot of death, a lot of injuries, and it's, it's just mind-boggling because what are we on, day two? Day two. So I just want to send my condolences and well wishes to um, NFL player, black man, DeMar Hamlin. Oh, my God. He just he just suffered a serious injury. He fell out doing like a tackle on the football field. As soon as he stood up, he collapsed back down again and they had to do CPR. He does play for the Buffalo Bills um, and it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. So much so I've never heard of this. And I even just asked Leo's father this. They stopped the whole football game because of his injury. I have never heard that. Um, I text three different guys. Have y'all ever seen a football game, an injury, stop the entire game? No one's ever seen that before. And um, I'm just sending my prayers and condolences. If it's one thing about the NFL, they don't give a damn about the injuries of these black men, you know, predominantly black men on the field. So I, I'm just sending my prayers and my well wishes that he would get a speedy recovery. I believe I did just see that he was in critical condition. And, um, I won't be showing the video here. Um, it can be triggering to some, especially to see them working on him. He stands up and he falls back down again. Um, really horrific stuff. But if you follow me on Twitter, it is the very last thing that I tweeted. I retweeted it because somebody had a trash tape talking about, it. I don't think the reason why he fell out was due to the hit, right? White guy. Why? What, what, what do we think? You think it was drugs? You think it was fentanyl? That man got hit severely, okay? Gross assumption, especially for somebody that has the video attached. And I just wanted to touch on that really quickly. That is literally breaking news, okay? It's going to be all over the news tonight and tomorrow. Definitely sending prayers and well wishes to his family and his friends, okay? So let's get into today's subject. Um, you may have heard of this already, you know, things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life. And this is actually something that's not in Hollywood. This is a real life situation. Some of the things I pride myself on talking about here over on my channel are the best of both worlds. Celebrity stuff, real life stuff, black news. And put a nine in the chat if you've already seen this video. Okay, put a nine in the chat if you've already seen this video. And you already have some opinions and put an eight in the chat if you haven't seen it yet. And this is going to be the first time that you're walking through this. I am going to be opening the phone lines because I'm curious to know what you all think about this situation. So today we're going to be going over an update regarding this situation. This woman, is she OK? Like, what's up with that? I have an update. We're going to go over the video together. We're going to dissect it, listen to it a couple of different times. I'm going to share my thoughts. I want to hear yours, too, in the chat, as well as on the phone lines. Okay, I see a great amount of eight. Some people haven't seen it yet. Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and just get started, okay? Like I said, pay your fare on my bus. It's free to ride my bus. All, all that I ask you to do is hit the goddamn thumbs up button, okay? So 
Um, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? The following video is broadcasting live and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. Oh, real quick, I hope that you're feeling all right. Y'all know I always tell you, check your mental health, check on your invisible problems before you get to dibbling and dabbling into the celebrities and everybody else's business that may not be as positive, right? Because what you consume online, it does affect you. You may think I'm just watching some juicy, toxic drama, but it, it can have an effect on you. So check yourself. You won't catch a lot of content creators saying, click off this video if you need to and get yourself together. But I'm that content creator that's going to that's gonna do that. Come back later or just don't catch this video. Another point, daughter um, of the most high God, rest in peace, Gangsta Bull, exactly. Rest in peace to her as well. Shout out to my new subscribers. Okay, um, I just want to say thank you to each and every person that supports the channel. And of course, before I get into breaking down today's topics and rivalry events, make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up or down. Either way, trust me, I appreciate the engagement. But don't forget to think critically and independently, regardless of what you hear from me or anybody else. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Listen closely, especially if you put an eight in the chat and you haven't heard anything about this Let's listen because I want to know who you think is at fault in this situation in terms of why things got violent because things did get violent. And a lot of people are drawing parallels between Shanquella Robinson's case, a girl's trip gone bad. She went on vacation with people that she thought were her friends. And it turns out they had ill intentions and she, she was attacked. They had a fight for whatever reason we probably will never know. So, they're connecting the dots with Shanquella Robinson. And honestly, I can see why, but I want to know what you think. Let's take a listen. Make sure y'all tap that thumbs up, okay? All right. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. I'm recording this video for my safety because, because you're being real hostile. You was being hostile because your cousin is here. It is a girl's trip. And she keeps saying I brought but I brought my my man came to see me the last night at our Airbnb. What you mean you want to like him? It was for you. They were his friends. They came. That's the problem. But she keeps saying she's not hostile. But you're hostile. Why can't my nigga be here on my last night? He's not bothering you. And this is what I mean by hostile. I came, uh, I, I came here with her cousin, and now she acting weird because she want an audience. But this supposed to be my friend. These supposed to be my friends. Really? Now, 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 now she want to fight. Now she want to fight. I'm about to get the out of here. I can't wait. And it's glass everywhere. Shit. Ah, this shit weird as And that's what she wanted was an audience. And I only went live, honestly, because I just don't feel safe. She got her cousins here. First off, you're with your cousins, but you want to act weird. You know, you knew my dude was going to be down here. So, of course, he was going to come. Mind you, we got our own rooms. You see? You see what I'm saying? Why can't my man come to the Airbnb that I'm paying for? That's that's what I'm not understanding. And I just don't feel safe. I can't leave until tomorrow. And I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm about to call him to come pick me up because this shit weird as I just want to go live right now because she acting real different. I'm going to say, because you're acting hostile. I'm recording you because you're... But why are you so mad? I brought my. You know what? I'm about to keep arguing with you. I'm about to have. I'm about to have my man come pick me up. Stop following me, bro. And you supposed to be my friend, but you want to fight. I'm going. Like, no. I'm recording this. Like I said, I'm recording this video live. Y'all attack whoever the f back at home that y'all know that's sent me to me right now. I'm going live and I'm gonna stay live while I text him and tell him. Cause it's, it's weird. The whole time, she's mad because my man came the last night. And he's not even here right now. Ooh. And it's there to be in my name. I'm like, Can you stop banging? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Oh, man. Can you all... 
on your wrist a plain giant. Oh, baby. That, that was a lot. That was a lot. Emotions were clearly high, right? Like, I mean, old girl was emotional off rip. I saw a really good question in the chat earlier while the video was playing. Someone said, the question is, was there an issue before this, before this situation? Was there a pre-existing issue between these women? Look, there's so much that we don't know. And this is the reason why I'm going to open the phone lines as soon as I get all of my points out to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, there's so much that we don't know. And we were discussing this in the Discord earlier today. So I do find the dialogue because everyone's going to have a different perception because we truly don't have all the pieces to this puzzle. We don't. And so I find the dialogue to be refreshing in hearing other people's perspective. We don't have all the facts. And so really, it could be anything. It, it, it could be any set of things, okay? Now, here's what I want to know from you as we continue in the chat, okay? Chelsea Nicole says, can girls just be canceled in 2023 and beyond because these women want to compete rather than have a tribe? Mm, okay? So here's the question. I want to get some insight from you all in the chat. Whose fault is it that things got violent? Not whose fault is it that uh, a, a discrepancy or that they had a disagreement, right? Because in, in my opinion, um, it, it's, it's clear that the lines of communication were fried on both sides. On both sides, there, there, there was something that the girl recording didn't understand and the aggressor didn't understand, okay? Whose fault is it that things got violent? Put a number one in the chat if you think it was the aggressor in the background, breaking glass, sounding like she about to cry. Right? Is it the aggressor's fault? Number one in the chat if you think it was her. Put a number two in the chat if you think it was the woman who was recording's fault that things got violent. Put a number three in the chat if you think it was both of them. If it was both of their faults that they got, that the situation got violent. Okay? So my whole thing is this. Old girl did, you know, in, in any type of relationship, a friendship is a relationship. Your relationship with your homegirls, your homeboys, whatever, it's not a romantic relationship, but it's a relationship nonetheless. And there, there are nine times out of 10, uh, 10 times out of 10, when you, when you have a, a friendship or relationship with someone, y'all are going to have several times where y'all do not see eye to eye. That does not mean it's always time to throw hands. It does not mean it's time to throw hands. Conflict resolution is a thing, <laughs> believe it or not. So my thing is the woman recording clearly ain't a fighter because if she was the type that wanted to turn up and fight, like, okay, you, you, you feeling froggy, let's leap, let's jump, let's go. She would have squared up in my, in my opinion, right? Um, and, and, and that's just my thought about it. But it seemed that she was uncomfortable with fighting, right? We saw in Sean, uh, Shanquilla Robinson's case, she, 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 she wasn't a fighter, but for some reason, like that brutal attack took place, right? If the woman recording was a fighter, I feel like she would have squared up, not recorded. I did sense that she was scared. I see some people saying that she was gaslighting, you know, her audience that she was on live for, hey, you know, oh, an opinion is an opinion is an opinion, right? But I truly, that, that woman was running. She hid in the bathroom. It sounded like that door was about to buckle down. She ran in the next room. She really wasn't trying to fight. Now, they clearly didn't see eye to eye about things. But that woman wasn't really, she wasn't trying to fight that girl. She wasn't trying to fight the aggressor here. The one who got emotional off rip. Okay? So, um, they said you don't have to be a fighter for people to abuse you. I know that's right. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat, Miss Will I Ams. It says, so does the other chick have something going on with the girl? with the braids do why she's so mad because he came over in a private room questions that need answers that's a good point that's a good point um you know my thought is and, and this is just my thought and it's an assumption because we do not know there's so much that's missing so all of us are just kind of giving our perspective based on our vantage point this woman got so emotional based off of this and she didn't say that because mind you it's not just that her boyfriend Right. The recorders, you know, Braid's boyfriend, it wasn't that her boyfriend came, you know, just came over. He also came over with his friends, three friends. And 
from what Braids, the woman recording, is saying, she's saying, look, I, I brought them over for you to entertain you. Now, should you be bringing a nigga on a girl's trip? It it can be annoying when it's supposed to be a girl's trip. But is it something that you that you that you ready to fight and cry for? In my opinion, from what I can see, it truly seems like the aggressor in the background that was that that cried off rip, breaking glass, banging down doors. That's shit that jealous girlfriends do. In my opinion, it seems like, and mind you, this is an assumption. I wasn't there. I don't know what the fuck happened. It really seems like she wanted that girl all to herself and maybe she wanted a little taste. I, 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 I see no other reason to become, because if it was me in that situation, and I get it. Some people are saying, well, maybe she didn't feel safe with, with his homeboys coming over and all that. I get that. I totally understand not feeling safe and feeling like it's just me and my girl in this living space, whether we live here permanently or we just living here for the week for this vacation. If you don't feel comfortable with these men or, or any you know foreign company, but especially men, you say something. You say something. Whoa, I don't feel comfortable with this. I will go lock my ass in my room. I'll be, I'll be pissed. I'll be, I will either lock myself in a room or go down to the bar, go around to the store. I wouldn't be there for that shit if I, if I felt uncomfortable. But this woman was asked several times in this video, why are you so mad? Because it's supposed to be just us. And she's crying and she's getting all, you know, I, I just, I. it seems like she wanted this woman all to herself. Maybe she was hoping that they got drunk and, 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 and did a little Katy Perry, I kissed a girl and I liked it. Maybe, you know, that's honestly what I got from it. But hey, we don't know. All right. So. Um, I'm going to drop the link while I get my last couple of points off and let other people call in. You, you don't have to agree. We can respectfully disagree. It's 2023. Okay. So um, let me drop the link for people if they want to share their opinion. Okay. So like I said, one in the chat, right? Who, whose fault is it that things got violent? Drop a one if it's the aggressor, right? The woman breaking glass in the background. Drop a two if it's the woman recording, if it's her fault that things got violent. And drop a three in the chat if it's both of their faults that things got violent. Th and this was my point. Hold on. This person says, but not when the dude was there. My whole thing is, why are you tripping after the all the guys were gone? All of the guys were gone and then she decides to turn up. I feel like if she really felt uncomfortable, if she felt like they were a threat, if maybe one of them did something to her, that would have been at the front of the conversation as soon as she saw the record and begin to happen. She didn't say, they made me feel uncomfortable. All she kept saying, it's supposed to be just us, just me and you. I'm like, damn, man. Okay, damn. Damn. Was it that the, if the men really made her feel uncomfortable, I feel like she would have said it. But that's not what she repeated more than three times throughout this video in her emotional rage. She's breaking glass, for God's sakes. That's relationship shit. Y'all remember in that movie Obsessed with Beyonce and Idris Elba and that crazy white woman? And when Idris, when Beyonce thought that Idris was cheating because that white woman was so crazy, Beyonce took that glass dish and she threw it on the floor. That's her man. That's her relationship. She wanted her husband all to herself, obviously. Right. So for that girl to go from to, to be breaking glass like that. Maybe did you want to munch on a little carpet? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And, and if she really felt uncomfortable, she could have definitely gotten that emotional when the men showed up. And I guarantee you the men wouldn't have stayed because she seems unstable. She seems unhinged. So she should have had all that energy or shut it down. And locked herself in her room or, or just not been a part of that company. I would have left. I would have quietly stormed out if I really felt that that was extremely disrespectful to our friendship, our agreement, and what we agreed on. That a girl saying she paid for the Airbnb, um, Airbnb, Airbnb, uh, I can understand that. Does she feel like because she paid for it, she shouldn't have to follow girl code? Uh, you know, there, there's so, there are layers to this, although we don't have all the answers, Okay. Here's the next set of questions that I want to ask y'all. Is this similar to Shanquella Robinson's case, right? 
you saw the way that phone dropped at the end. She was trying to get away from that woman. She went behind one closed door. That wasn't enough. That, that door got open somehow. She went behind another closed door. That door got open somehow. And she dropped the phone and screamed. This woman is not a fighter, right? Now, she might be at fault for not communicating with her friend, for breaking girl code, for bringing a guy along on a girl's trip, for, just for the last day. Is this similar to Shanquella Robinson's case? Vacation, you thought this was your friend, but now all of a sudden your friend is trying to fight you over a disagreement. Put a four in the chat if you think that, yes, it's similar to Shanquella's case. Put a five in the chat if you do not think that it's similar to Shanquella Robinson's case and people are reaching. I want to know your thoughts down below. Okay, and I do have an update on this. I do have an update on this case. Let me drop the link again, just so people are able to call in, okay? Um, okay, I see we got one person back here. Okay, we got two people back here. Let me get my last point out, and then we're going to bring up some callers, okay? How do you think these ladies could have resolved this issue better without it leading to violence, Right? Um, I heard the woman say in this video, you knew my nigga was going to be down here, but like, so yeah, I brought him over the last day. Right. So it seems like she told her in some way, but she didn't make it clear. She didn't make it clear. Right. Old girl's feelings was still so hurt. And I feel like if the aggressor was fully prepared and directly informed that my man's coming over the last day and, and maybe his friends too, it wouldn't have been to this point. But clearly, that clearly there was a case of miscommunication. What would have been a suitable case of conflict resolution? What would have been a suitable case? I think that when it when it comes to your boundaries and where you lay your head at night, especially when it's just you and your girls, you got to be clear. You 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 can't wait till the last minute to let somebody know that something made you uncomfortable. Or made you feel safe. You have to be upfront about your boundaries, your safety levels, and all that stuff. And it's clear that girl in the braids crossed the boundary for the aggressor. I'll give her that. She crossed the boundary, right? And braids felt like there was nothing wrong. Braids felt like there was nothing wrong. But, I, you know, when you become a grown woman, you can't wait to the last minute when it comes to your safety and turn up after, after the threat, you know, is gone. So now you got an attitude. And, and now you want to fight. Like, that doesn't even make sense. If anything, it would have been better for her to display that type of behavior when those men showed up to keep them away. Because that's what she wanted, right? She wanted to keep them away. So, um, you know, there's still some other just, you know, idle points that I have that I would like to make. But what I want to do is I want to bring up my callers is everybody caught up with the video let me know that in the chat does anybody need to see the video clip again is anybody late getting here what's going on let me know let me know let me know um let me go ahead and do this 60 seconds let's pay this bill for this sponsor and we do have several callers back here so i think this is going to get juicy hopefully there's some people that disagree with me too because i don't just want an echo chamber where everybody agrees with me i do want to hear the people that think that um that think that old girl in the braids was wrong and maybe that the aggressor was right, okay? So hit thumbs up if you haven't already and let's keep this show going. Get into this black owned business, Dickies. It's got things for inside your home, outside your home, and even on the go. JasmineMadeIt.com is your new destination for black girl magic mugs, tumblers, and even wine glasses. You can even customize the tumblers and wine glasses. There's a lot going on for a low price over at jasminemadeit.com. And if you've been serious about wanting to support more Black-owned businesses, here's your chance. Let jasminemadeit.com handle all your problems for family and friends. You ever had a friend over and they just wasn't catching the hint or paying the rent? Our asses all get to step in. <laughs> yeah, tell them to get to step in with this nostalgic Mart themed doormat and shop over a dozen different doormat designs over on jasminemadeit.com. All right, stickies, you know what time it is. It's time to put your money where your mouth is and shop black today. 
Make life easier for you and your household by taking your family's hot or cold beverages on the go with one of these unique tumblers. It's insulated to keep your beverage at temperature and it comes with a few different reusable straws and even the specific brush that you need to wash it so you can keep it sanitized and germ free. They've got all kinds of designs to match your mood or style. So grab something for your wife, the hubby, or even the kids over on jasminemadeit.com. That's jasminemadeit.com. And I'll see you over there. Okay. There are some people saying that they need to see the clip again because they just got here. So let's put that up. And then we're going to get into our first caller, Veda. And then we've got DJ Golden back here as well, okay? I'm recording this video for my safety because, because you're being real hostile. You was being hostile because your cousin is here. It is a girl's trip. And she keeps saying I brought, but I brought my, my man came to see me the last night at our Airbnb. But you're hostile. Why can't my nigga be here on my last night? He's not bothering you. And this is what I mean by hostile. I came, I, I came here with her cousin, and now she acting weird because she want an audience. But this supposed to be my friend. These supposed to be my friends. Really? Now, 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 now she want to fight. Now she want to fight. I'm about to get the right here. I can't wait. And it's glass everywhere. Shit. 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 Huh. This shit weird as And that's what she wanted was an audience. And I only went live, honestly, because I just don't feel safe. She got her cousins here. First off, you with your cousins, but you want to act weird. You know, you knew my dude was going to be down here. So, of course, he was going to come. Mind you, we got our own rooms. You see? You see what I'm saying? Why can't my man come to the Airbnb that I'm paying for? That's that's what I'm not understanding. And I just don't feel safe. I can't leave until tomorrow. And I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm about to call him to come pick me up. Because this shit weird as I just want to go live right now because she acting real different. I'm going to say, because you're acting hostile. I'm recording you because you're... Mad. I brought my. You know what? I'm about to keep arguing with you. I'm about to have. I'm about to have my man come pick me up. Stop following me, bro. And you supposed to be my friend, but you want to fight. I'm good. Like, yeah. I'm recording this. Like I said, I'm recording this video live. Y'all tag whoever the back at home that y'all know that's family to me right now. I'm going live and I'm gonna stay live while I text him to come meet me. Weird. The whole time, she's mad because my man came the last night, and he's not even here right now. Woo! And it's there can be in my name. I'm about to be can you stop banging? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? What's up? Oh man! Can you stop? Roll us on your wrist, or plain Jane. All right, let's bring up our first caller. Hello, Veda. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Am I saying it? Is it Veda or Vada? No, you said it right the first time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. What, like, what are your thoughts? Where do we start? Who, whose my, fault is it that things got violent in this situation? Well, my first initial thought, because I've been on many girls' trips with my girls too, mm -hmm. and my initial thought was, the girl with the braids, she escalated the situation. I think that she knew full well that her girls were not on board with her bringing anyone over. And then she brings the other two guys. He brought himself and the other two guys there. Mm -hmm. Clearly, they don't want to be bothered with these other two guys. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in that. And from what I understand, they spent the night because they were saying somebody was sleeping on the couch. So well, the information that I got was that they weren't on the couch. 
and mm -hmm. they were gone by the time this this like this altercation was going mm -hmm. on. So I didn't I didn't see anything about anybody spending the night, but you know, nonetheless, again, right. like, we don't have all the puzzle pieces. But and there's a two, maybe two parts to that too. She may have waited to talk to her friend after they left because. You know, we if I'm gonna have a disagreement with you as my friend, I'm gonna wait until this person leaves and I'm gonna pull you to the side. I'm not gonna blow it up in front of them because maybe we can resolve the situation between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Even though you did, you put me on the spot by bringing them over. Mm -hmm. So I think she was wrong in my opinion, but I think she continued to fan the fires by talking and recording and, and you know just escalating the situation. Like, oh, you mad because I brought my man. Yeah, you cannot bring nobody onto a girls' trip when it was not pre it was not discussed ahead of time that this is what was going to happen. I think it could, she could have avoided it by asking them first, is it cool if he comes over? Yeah, that, that would have been a way. But she fanned the fires. Oh, I'm going to go live because I'm scared. You not scared. She, 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 well, it got scary. Let me be clear. It got scary and towards the end. But initially, I don't think she was scared that her friend was mad. She kept that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I think she was scared because honestly, with a friend turning up like that, already emotional. I'm from Baltimore. I still live okay. here in Baltimore. There. Bitch, let's fight. Bitch, like, like, because you you turning up for what? I don't even have to turn on the camera to fight you and get this shit over with. We right. we friends. We, it really shouldn't even have to get there. But she knew that that girl was unhinged. And sometimes recordings... Recordings are the only proof that you have that somebody fucking hit you first. Had they fought off camera, imagine what old girl would have done in the background, running to the police crime victim, acting like she didn't, you know, she wasn't the aggressor. She was clearly the aggressor. And when she said, you want to fight me? She said, yeah, I do want to fight you. So if she wasn't recording, you know, uh, who, who, who would the police had believe first sometimes it's a matter of who gets to the police first so sometimes you do got to cover your i mean hell a lot of people felt like it was senseless for somebody to be recording shanquella's altercation and somebody should have jumped in while i do feel like somebody should have jumped in without that recording where would we be what what, what would the narrative right. be? and i think she went live to to basically align herself with the shanquella situation because if she if she was that okay me and you falling out or whatever first she said I can't leave until tomorrow. And then she said, well, I'm just going to call my dude and go have my dude come get me. Mm -hmm. That would have been right off the rip. I wouldn't have been recording you trying to egg you on, upset you or whatever. I would have just called my dude and said, can you come get me? You know, because I'm know, not about to be dealing with this. One thing that was key that old girl said, she said, this is my friend. And she turning up because these are her cousins here. So it seemed like it was a girl's trip. And the only friend that she had there was that one girl. In that sense, she's outnumbered and nobody's diffusing the shit for her. Right. And right. so her cousins weren't necessarily trying to stop her. They were just trying to keep her in the corner. But it clearly didn't work because she bust down one door, two doors to get to her. It seemed like she knew that friend enough to know that she wasn't going to stop. And I mean, it's hard to leave. Think about leaving somebody that's in a rage. Think about like a Tasmania devil. Cause I'm sorry, that girl was unhinged, right? There was a, I get it. Her feelings were hurt. It was a girl's trip. I'm not saying she doesn't have a right to be upset because braids definitely broke girl code. But that woman was a Tasmania devil breaking glass and shit. And sometimes when people want to be spiteful, old girl said this Airbnb is in my name. So had she just packed up and left, Imagine the damage that she would have came back to in that Airbnb with a woman being as 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 spiteful as to be destroying property already. You know, so I can see her 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 that, hesitancy that in leaving that, first. That could potentially have happened if she would have just jumped. I mean, she I'm not sure. She could have uh, left. I mean, but yeah, I just think that she was really she she yeah. she I think she could have resolved the situation, probably been like, okay, I apologize or what have you, but Come on, you're going to bring some dudes over? You're going to bring some men into an Airbnb that we all, because it was in her name, probably, she felt right. like it's my Airbnb. Call him over here if I want to. I put, It's in my name. Uh, yeah, I think I think she should have communicated. So I think I think both of them, because again, when somebody crosses a bat, when you, when you let somebody play with your boundaries and your levels of comfortability and you wait to the last moment, you're setting yourself up for an explosion, which is never the best representation of your character. So you cannot wait. Listen, I was talking yes. about this in the Discord earlier today. From the gate, but she, I mean, you gotta set your boundaries down. She felt unsafe. 
if she felt uncomfortable, if she felt like that was not okay to bring them niggas over there, she should have set off jump. She should have been a little extra bamboozled, a little bamboozled on the inside and play it up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what's going on? Who are these niggas? I feel uncomfortable. I don't feel safe. This is not what we agreed to. And I guarantee you niggas hearing that shit walking in the door, they not staying the fuck around. They not staying around. And 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 just in general, I was saying this earlier in, in the Discord when we was talking about this. I was, when I moved in with a, a, an old roommate that I had, I lived with her for almost two years. I was like 19, 20 when I met her. I had no cooth. I didn't know what the fuck a girl code was. I was just happy to get away, you know, from my parents and shit like that. And I moved into her apartment and she was like 12, 13 years older than me. And I'm, I'm bringing niggas over there and shit or whatever. But it's, it's her apartment. I'm just leasing a room, right? And when I would bring a nigga over there, she would do exactly, she'd be like, whoa, 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 Jane. I'm not, I'm not cool with this. Wait a minute. I'm, un, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, her, her internet dropped. She would be like, I'm uncomfortable. And at first, at first I felt like that shit was hella, excuse me, that's the wrong. At first I felt like that shit was hella extra. I felt like, yo, she, she being so extra. She know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get some, she bring niggas over here to get some, but if, and when she doesn't have enough notice, she ain't never met this nigga before. And or she's not comfortable with this nigga. I totally understood years later why she had to lay that boundary down for me. And I get, again, I was, I was literally 19, 20 years old at the time. And she would do this shit where I felt like it was extra. And she'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not comfortable with this. Who, who, uh-uh. We, we sleep here. We live here. He could come back and he could rob us. I don't feel comfortable with this, Jane. And she, had, she, she set those boundaries down. I felt like it was extra in that moment, but it's not. It's not when it comes to where you lay your head. And so being quiet about shit when the danger, you know, if you really felt like it was danger or uncomfortable, being quiet about it then and then trying to turn up and fight later, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. You need to put your guard up and you need to let somebody know where your boundary lays. You don't know these niggas. You might know her boyfriend, but you don't know his friends. So why should he be where we be sleeping at night? It's not safe. It's not safe. And sometimes... You have to do that shit. And so that's why I feel like the, the communication between both on both sides, it needed, it needed to be a little bit more. It needed to be a little bit more on both sides. Braids should have clearly communicated that to aggressor in the back. And aggressor in the back should have had some of that same aggressive, I feel, I feel uncomfortable type of energy off rip. And 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 not let it ride. Turning up later does what? Turning up after the niggas are gone, the house is empty, and it's just y'all does what? <laughs> Let me bring up the next caller. The last caller, um, I, I think I think her device died because it literally just like dropped out. DJ Golden, what's going on? Hey Jane, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, listen, I don't understand where the rage coming from. I really, I just don't get it. Like, okay, so say you mad at your girl. Like, why can't you just quietly stop being friends with her? Be like, oh, she'll pick me. I'm not finna mess with her no more. You got to fight about it? Like, what is all this emotion and rage coming from? I don't understand. No sense. It makes I just no don't sense. understand. I don't understand. It, that, that's it, why it, I said it seems more emotional than anything to me. You breaking glasses like Beyonce and obsessed over her husband. It was really passionate. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like that. Like there's a, it's a relationship, but we're friends. I don't like the passion. I don't like it. Like we're always going to like, I don't know if anybody's watching like the best man holiday, the final chapter or the uh, best man final chapters and stuff like that. And I'm using that as an example, although Harper is a shitty friend. Harper Harper's a shitty friend. But who who is um Tay Diggs? Um, but you know, they're friends, and while they've gotten into some fights, that's TV. But you know, typically, you know, with your friends, you supposed to have some conflict resolution. You are never gonna see eye to eye with with all of your friends. Hell, everybody in the chat doesn't see eye to eye with what I'm saying right now. That doesn't mean we about to fight or they about to start calling me all types of names in the chat. We just don't agree in conflict resolution and bringing a difference of opinion and, and, and trying to solve our issues doesn't mean that we got to swing, you know, swing hands. And it's, it's just amazing to me. So many people who feel like the aggressor was right. But when it came to Shanquella, they felt like Dejeuner was wrong. You feel me? Like they went up for Quella. Whatever the problem was, y'all ain't had to beat on that girl. Y'all ain't had to fight. But they going up for the aggressor saying, you know, well, she, sh she, sh she shouldn't have brought the nigga over there. Yeah, she shouldn't have brought the nigga over there. 
But does that mean that you have the right to attack her author and 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 start breaking glass and destroy? That's a hazard for everybody. Stepping over glass and da da da. Anybody's about to get hurt in here because you're emotional over the last fucking twenty four hours of this trip. And I'm not trying to downplay anything, but it's damn sure not worth a fight and losing a friend and throwing conflict resolution out the window. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. And then the last 24 hours, see, what bothers me is she, okay, so she in the background screaming, we were supposed to go out and have fun. Was you not going to see men's when you went out? Was men's not going to be in your face when you went out? I don't understand the rage. I don't, yeah. I don't get it. I just yeah. don't understand. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an uncomfortable situation. I, I can't tell you how I would feel being on a girl's trip. And okay, cool. Bring bring your nigga over. Cool. I, I probably wouldn't even have an issue with that. I really, I wouldn't give a fuck. There's a million things I could be checking and doing on my phone, doing online, trying to keep up with, you know. It, exactly. It, it's my last 24 hours. So I'm about to leave anyway. What the, what am I tripping out for? Exactly. <laughs> you know, because honestly, when you go on a trip with anybody, whether it be a regular group trip, it's not a girl's trip or whatever, at any point, somebody can, somebody might fall ill, might fall sick, and you got to, pivot and find other ways to enjoy your fucking vacation regardless and that's just that's just something that i understand so whether somebody falls sick whether you silly on that dick and you don't realize that this is girl's trip or like whatever the case is i can definitely i can always find another way to entertain myself but i understand girl code being broken and feelings being hurt that don't mean i'm about to fight you and stomp through the house and break glass so window, right i mean I need to drop off so somebody can come make sense of this because I don't understand the fashion. I don't have that kind of rage towards a woman that I'm not sleeping with. Like, what is going on here? I don't, yeah. I don't get it. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> somebody I, make it make sense. What do, you, what do you call us? Jump in here and make this make sense. It don't make no sense. Child, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not understanding all of that rage. I'm the type of person where I will. Like you said earlier, I would, the trip would end and I would silently, if I really felt that disrespected, I would just silently not fuck with you no more. I'm not about to. That's I'm what I would have did. I would have been like, hands. okay, did you, did you she steal a money me. Out I'm not going to mess with her. Did you steal money out my wallet? Did you make us miss our flight? Like, did you, like, it's it's not a fight and offense to me. It's an offense. Yes. On a couple different fronts. Girl, you know, girls trip, da, 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 da. You broke my trust. You know what I'm saying? But is it a fightable offense? No, for me, no, it's not. Not for me either. So I'm gonna drop off and see what everybody else got to say. Cause no, let let me know. Thank you for calling in, DJ. Golden. Thank you, Jane. Love you. All right, love you too. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, let's go on. I did have a couple other callers back here, but sometimes you know they get a little impatient and they drop off. Um, Veda was here. Veda said you never had the right to hit anyone in a private chat. It, you know exactly. Um. So let me get into this update. I did drop the link again for anybody that's still interested in calling in. The update that I have about the story is this. The woman is, she's, okay. So for everyone wondering what happened after the door slam and if she was okay, there was some correspondence with her yesterday. She does want everyone to know that she's fine. However, when she was asked about um, the follow-up to the situation, she said she can't speak on that right now. So she's not really, she's not disclosing a whole bunch. I can tell you she's very active online right now, but she says she can't speak to the follow-up. Does that mean maybe she filed charges or whatever the case is? We have no clue. All we know is when she was asked about the follow-up, she said that she cannot speak on that right now. But she does want everybody know, everybody to know that she is safe and okay. So that's the update okay veda is back veda i'm gonna get to you in one moment there's another person here naughty love i'm gonna bring them up and then i'll bring you back up okay um hey naughty love what's going on hey jane happy new year to you happy, happy new year holidays to you as well what are your thoughts this is a crazy situation girls trip gone all the way wrong and left oh. who do you think was at fault for things getting violent was it the aggressor or was it the woman recording i felt like it was the aggressor i mean i felt like she started recording because she was concerned for her safety 
um, at some point? Do I feel like it was a better way to handle this whole situation? I think old girl was turned up way too much for this being just like people showing up for the trip um, unexpectedly. I just feel like she was way over the top, like violent. Yeah, she was and over I, the top. I just felt like it was unnecessary, Jane. I'm sorry. Like, there's yeah. a way to handle everything. Um, and you know what? She also had the choice to leave if she felt uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side of things, I also felt like, oh, girl, she's recording live. That was agitating the situation. If you felt like you were in that much in danger, call the cops. Hang up the phone on the live. And call the cops and let them defuse the situation. And also, I didn't feel like her inviting her man to the situation would have made the situation any better. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just felt like it would have escalated things. I get how the girl would have felt uncomfortable. But I just think in the manner, in the way she chose to handle it, it was in a very aggressive violent way and I just feel like she escalated the situation beyond repair and at the end of the day as far as we know oh girl paid for the Airbnb like what's the big deal mm -hmm. I'm, for you her know, bringing it's her the man last, day. last night it's, 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 you know, it was the last day, you know, I, I do understand where the aggressor is coming from, right? There were, there, there were a couple of rules broken, although I feel like she did not have to do all that. Mm -hmm. I understand why she feels fractured in some way. It doesn't excuse, you know, the destruction of property and all that other stuff, but you know, the breaking of girl code is just supposed to be us. She clearly didn't communicate clearly enough to braids didn't communicate clearly enough to the girl that she was inviting her nigga along let alone two of his friends you know I, I i feel like girl in the braids is young and dumb i'm not excusing it right because i've been young and dumb before too but she she don't look 1920 right like when i was young and dumb and i had no no i had no cool honestly i had no cool i was 1920 i wasn't even old enough to drink yet and i was making these types of mistakes you know this woman i can as i, I you know, she looks like she's every bit of maybe 20 sets. She's a truck driver. She's a nail tech, you know, CDLs. She's got to be pushing 30. She mm -hmm. can't be this naive to understand how she crossed the line and, and, and stepped on someone's boundary. She And she I, al I also felt Jane, like it was still one sided with her going live. We don't know what happened prior to that. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? I, I I feel like when people go live like that, they're just trying to get their narrative out there um, to push their agenda too. And at the end of the day, I stand by this. If I feel like I'm that much in danger, before I go live, I'm calling the police. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I felt like the police don't always call when you want them to. It'd be so... I, I've had to call the police when I was being attacked, not by a woman, but when you are in danger, baby, by the time the police got there, the person is already gone and they've already fucked you up. They understand they have a, a, a six minute window to do whatever the fuck they want to do to you. And there's no video evidence of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can understand. Oh, let, me, let me call the cops. They're going to come rescue me right now. That was a three minute clip. Old girl was already turned up. She mm -hmm. was already turned up. Mm -hmm. So... You know, it, it's the same thing with, with the police not wanting you to record. Then why you don't want me to record if you're just doing your motherfucking job? Why are you uncomfortable with me recording if you ain't doing shit? If mm -hmm. we're just talking, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 I think, I do think that there's fault on both sides. I do yes. think that there's a blame on both sides, but that does not excuse that rage, that unhinged storming around the house. She sounded like she was about to cry. I'm like, oh, girl, I hope you find some new friends. I hope you get some therapy. I hope you find a girl that ain't never going to break girl code for you again because that shit clearly hurt her to the core but, I just um, really feel like it's an testament as like we live in a different time we all just went through something very traumatic as a country as a whole and it, you really need to be careful of who you surround yourself with and expose yourself to because you don't know people's me mental state of mind and that girl's rage it, it, it showed me someone that was triggered. Mm -hmm. 
it, it showed me someone that been through trauma and was triggered by yeah the blindsidedness. Yeah. You, could, you could, I mean, just breaking that glass on the floor that everybody got to walk on. That's enough disrespect for me. I don't even need to be friends with you no more. Fuck this issue. Fuck talking it out with you. I'm about to walk over some glass and cut my foot, and you in here breaking shit over. You, Baby. People are losing it over the smallest things, people. And you have to be careful the way you interact with people because you never know where their state of mind is at this point. There's a lot of unwellness walking around. There's a lot of untreated people walking around. And when it comes to mental health awareness, a lot of people, they're not willing to admit that they're in trouble and that they're having a struggle. And it's just a testament of the time that we live with, live in, and we have to be aware. And that's all I really wanted to say, Jane. Thank you so much for having me on your panel. Happy New Year to you. Keep doing the great work you do. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on up. Let's get back into Vader, who was here. Okay, so let me read you, let me read your comment in the in the private chat. You said the turn up was. Braids was trying to pretend that she didn't know why her friend was upset recording the push narrative. She was taunting her. You know, I, I have to disagree because when you start recording somebody and everything that already happened off camera, I've tried to record a man attacking me before, right? And he didn't already told me why he upset and it didn't make no fucking sense. You don't have the right to put your hands on me because I don't want to be with you anymore, right? And it's just, it's just a separate situation. But when you feel like the person's reason for wanting to physically harm you is stupid when you start recording you want to get that shit on tape again so i'm gonna ask a question and get you to repeat yourself so that i got this insurance for me on tape as to why you really feel like it's necessary to take it to this level because at the end of the day recording a, a, a you know a situation whether it be you in the altercation or somebody else it's insurance for somebody so that if and when this shit does get physical they know exactly you didn't hit me because I hit you first. You hit me because what? Oh, it's a girl's trip and it was just supposed to be us. That's why you attacked me, huh? Like, so that, that that's my way of thinking about it. When you start recording, you you don't have the whole narrative. So you about to take the person through the top and like, a like not like a dummy, but you want them to repeat themselves. What, what was that again? Say it again for the camera. That's what I got from it. But I understand you think that, um, you know, she was taunting her. I get that. It's 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 a sad situation. Somebody in the chat, I said there was a six minute window between calling the police. Somebody in the chat said Dallas got a 12 hour window. My God, not a 12 hour window from when you call the police. See, and, and that's why calling the police is not just hang up and call the police. Come on now, we black, you know. Y'all remember that episode of Martin when they was calling the police over the dead plumber and 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 they kept getting hung up on it. Then they had to call him. And it was comedy, but they had to call him, pretend to be white in order to get the police's attention. And then when they found out they was black, they hung up like, stop acting like we have such an amazing relationship with the law that police are about to swoon in and rescue us from a dangerous situation. Like, that's not reality. It's not reality no nowhere in America. Anyway, <laughs> like, um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I know that you had dropped off last time, Veda. What what other thoughts that you have um about this situation? Do you think that they actually fought? Like based off of the statement that she gave, and it, it was a vague statement. Um, let me read it again. She said for everyone wondering what happened after the door slammed, she's okay. There was correspondence. She wants everybody to know that she's fine. However, when asked about the follow-up, she says she can't speak on that right now. What are your thoughts about that gray area? Can you hear? Can I hear you? Yeah. Oh, ah. damn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> You asked me what were my thoughts about whether or not they fought? Yeah, the gray area and her saying that she's okay, but she can't speak on the follow-up right now. It, it seems like at the end of it, it seemed they fought. Or she slapped the phone out of her hand or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, once you put your hands on me, it's all bits off. We would have definitely had a fight at that point. You know, whether you felt I was taunting you or whatever it is, I we would have had a fight if you put, if, fight if you put your hands on me. 
You know, mm -hmm. if you disagree with the way I handled it, you felt like I was flexing because I because the Airbnb was in my name. I brought my dude over. Whatever it is, you felt. Once you put your hands on me, the situation changes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And, yeah. I, you know, for me, I'm just like, before I get to fighting anybody, I got to feel very fucking warranted because I'm thinking about how I'm going to tell this shit if you try to send yeah. this shit to the police. I, I I need some evidence of you hitting me first. I do. Like, I, 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 need, I need to really make sure that we scrapping because this was self-defense and I need to make sure right. that my self-defense stands up when we go to the police station and it ain't just your word against mine. I'm hoping that somebody gets some shit on video before right. me and you get to fight. I have a girlfriend that is literally like that though. She, she's the type, she, she can't fight and she'll say it all day long. I don't fight, but she has the biggest mouth ever. Like she will, she's good with the words. She's crafty with the words. She will make you want to fight her. And I've had to protect her many, many, many times because she just knows how to trigger people with the things mm -hmm. that she says. And I'm she's the worst kind of people. Yeah. Th there are people that are literally like that. And then they you, know how to press the buttons. They know how to get yep. people to react and then they want to go down to the police station crying. Exactly. Want shit, the roost, you know, the chickens come home to roost. Yeah. That's kind of my point. So I, I would have to know more about before she started recording, was there a conversation? Was she really trying to talk to her and say, well, you know, try, trying to get her to see her point of view as to why she felt it was wrong. Like, uh, did she pop off like one of my girlfriends? Well, this isn't my name. If you don't like it, you can leave. You know, you, there's a lot that we don't we don't kind of know, but I it just seems as though she was very arrogant about the eye whole thing. Like, why are you tripping? Cause my man coming over. Yeah, you know the Girl. way she kept saying my man. And don't get me wrong, like some some women are like that. You let me tell you something. When I get married, it's definitely gonna be my husband, my husband. Not on a girl's trip, but you know some people get married. Well, my husband, my husband. You know that's I think I think that that's cute. I think that the my husband thing. <laughs> I think that it's really cute. But the way she kept saying, my man, why you? Because my man and my, and it's like, you know, her man is clearly her focus. There's no way that the aggressor couldn't have clocked that prior to that trip. She right. clearly prioritized that relationship. In their room, because allegedly they were down there. They had, she knew he that he was there. She knew my man was here. Okay, well, why you didn't go over there with them? If you wanted to have a moment with your man, because the Airbnb was probably nice, nicer. It was a better spot. Come on over here with us. You know, but I mean, she should have cleared it with her girls. That's just kind of the way I see it. I, there's never an excuse to put your hands on somebody. You know, I'm not I'm not co-signing that at all. You don't put your hands on nobody. You can say what you want to say, but just don't hit me. Don't mm -hmm. touch me. So, yeah. but she bust the door open and knocking all on the door and all of that. And that admitted that she wanted to fight. I mean... You know, once they hear that on camera, whatever happened after that, if Braid sustained some injuries, I ain't seen no new pictures since then. She's been posting since then. No new oh, pictures sure. since then. If she sustained any injuries and aggressor admitted she wanted to fight, baby. Then it okay. is what it is. The aggressor <laughs> lost in the court of criminal and civil law. If she had, if she pulled out two braids and she got to go get treatments or, you know, she got to have her arm in a brace. You know how you get into an accident or, or an attack or anything. It's on my neck. My back, my neck, and my back. <laughs> mm, yeah. And then she had her little cousin there with her too. The, on the flip side, she had the other one had her cousin, so she probably was really bothered about it. You know, my cousin mm -hmm. here, she's gonna pop up. I saw the little girl standing, woman, not a little girl, but standing in front of her, like, you know, calm down, you tripping, don't try to fight her. That woman was so short, and that's why she wasn't stopping anything. That's why old girl was still able to bust down two different doors. That 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 yeah. little cousin wasn't stopping anything, in my opinion. Yeah. But, but you admit she was kind of mouthing out if i'm scared if i'm scared and you you talking and you coming at me i'm not saying nothing i'm not trying to say nothing to egg you want to get you more upset yeah I'm but i'm also not going to stay stay quiet and meek so that you think i'm about to just get no. quiet and tuck away into a corner either not quiet and meek but i'm not going to say well jane like why are you mad why are you mad like you mad because my man coming over I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say, look, it's not that serious. I don't want to fight you. I'm not even trying to go there with you. I'm going to try to defuse it. I'm not going to do say things to further upset you when I already know you pissed. I'm not going to be like... For somebody that's unhinged, there's there's no stopping no. them from being upset, especially if, if you feel like from, from your vantage point, because they were clearly on two different pages. Braids yeah. felt like why aggressor was upset was stupid. 
And so, and, and aggressor felt like braids, not understanding how she broke girl code, crossed the boundary. She felt like that was stupid. You're an idiot. How can you miss that? Like, this is, yeah. this is our trip. So sometimes it's not like there's nothing you can say to not agitate somebody that's already on a level six to seven out of 10. You could say, um, you know what, girl, let's calm this down. But it, when, when you already hyped up, people don't just go down from an eight to a two. She was already there. I mean, so at some point you might not want to fight, but you, it's, it's like fight or flight. It's literally, and even if you're not physically fighting, I'm going to give you these words to make you think like, girl, you're not about to, you're not about to talk to me this way. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like the argument, <laughs> what, what could she have said that wasn't hostile to that woman? Because even just asking her why you so mad was still getting old girl mad. <laughs> Braids didn't. Braids probably still to this very moment doesn't understand why that girl was upset. She don't. She probably don't understand what she did wrong. She told her like, "How you gonna bring your dude over here?" Like, no, I did not. That's not cool. But why does that mean you get to break glasses? I, I get like the disconnect because she's just like, "I did this teeny ass thing, and you might not like it, but all of this, like, you're a whole volcano right now." Like, so they both just sitting there like, what? Other girl like, what? How don't you? It wasn't going to be so. Jane, is there a difference between saying, okay, why why are you mad? Why are you upset? Versus <laughs> you mad? Oh, you mad? Because I got a dude. I mean, there's a difference between taunting and asking. Like, why are you so upset? She seemed like she was taunting to me. I feel like if you already talking to me crazy, which old girl, it, it was clear that she was already talking to her kind of crazy. I'm right. not about to talk to you with all the, con you, you swirling your neck and I'm going to swirl my neck too. So <laughs> we swirling our necks. So why would you think that you could talk to me like this and have a tone and be sassy right. with me? And I'm supposed to right. say, okay, now can you tell me why you're upset? Like, fuck <laughs> out of here. We arguing, you know, clearly it, it, an argument is regular, but a physical altercation is something different. And sometimes friends do argue and they need to get it out their system. They might have a fucked up tone. They might not have the best, you know, language, but you know, sometimes once y'all see past that, you might calm down the next day. Granted, there's no physical altercation. And both y'all might, girl, I was tripping, girl, I was tripping. We just, we wasn't seeing eye to eye about that. Can we just like agree to disagree and put this behind us and keep it pushing? Sometimes it goes like that. Unfortunately, this is one that escalated and okay. aggressor i really hope that she <laughs> i don't know what i don't know what kind of help she need but baby <laughs> it, it it was given she was trying out for beyonce's role and obsessed it really was she was pissed she was pissed but i thank you for for bringing me on i just had to get that part out i just like well Come on now, you guys. It didn't have to go that route. But she was trying to play off of our whole, this recent thing with Shanquilla and everything. I really felt like she was plan trying to play into that. Like, oh my God, look at her, y'all. I'm scared. I'm, Girl. If you can't fight, then you really think, now I'm, I, I, I'll <laughs> square up quickly, but I've seen people that can't fight and they have weird ways of trying to fend it off. They'll talk a game and then when they realize I didn't, I didn't bark up a tree or landed myself in a situation where I'm about to get fucked up. Um. Yeah. What, the, like, <laughs> what the I'll fuck can I do? Let me go live just in case this bitch fucking um do something, and that way my family got some footage. Because I know if I feel like I'm being followed, I'm taking a picture of a license plate, I'm uploading it on Twitter. I might go live. I might get pulled over and go. If this is the last y'all hear from me, whether it be the police <laughs> or some man follow me up straight, I'm going motherfucking go live about that shit. But it won't never be no fight with no bitch though. <laughs> right. Won't be that. It won't be. That. <laughs> But I, I definitely have those type of friends that that, that make you want to choke them. Like, girl, stop. Why you always starting shit? Mm -hmm. I thought that you were emotional. So, no, but it's your fault you told my business, like, to the whole crew. Like, why did you tell them that we did X, Y, Z? So, I don't know. That shit crazy. It is crazy. But I'm glad that they, hopefully, they were able to work the thing out, but. That was that was banana. They need to stop. They need to stop. You know how we look at a relationship, Krishan, Blue Face, and be like, y'all need to break up. They they don't need to be friends no more. I don't hope that they work shit out. I hope uh, that they don't talk to each other again. No, I don't fight. I don't like I don't fight my friends. If I have to fight one of my friends, we're not friends anymore. Yeah. Once it gets physical. Mm -hmm. So let me let you bring another caller in so they can give their point of view. Because maybe <laughs> it differently. <It> was, <laughs> I agree with you. Homegirl was she snapped. So yeah, I'm glad she didn't hurt her. And we could talk about it. 
<laughs> I am glad too. Thank you so much for calling in, Veda. I hope you have a good night. <laughs> All right. Let me bring up the next caller. Are y'all enjoying this live? Make sure y'all hit thumbs up if you haven't already. We got 451 people here and only 235 likes. Come on now. Come on now. We about to bring up our next caller who is Amanda. But come on now. Don't, don't, don't make me bring Leo in here and get Leo to cussing y'all out, okay? Hit the thumbs up button because it's free. Or you could not hit the thumbs up button and send me $3 on Cash App. Come on now. Leo, get down. Get down. It's not a thank you because it's not a question. Because I will get the cat to cuss y'all out in a heartbeat. I will bring him in here right now. Very mouthy. Very talkative. I agree she, um, a shade gem dropper. I believe it was some sexual tension with an old girl. I think that's, a, that's why she snapped like that. that. That's just my thought, okay? Yep. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. But that's, that's what I think is going on here, okay? If you haven't already taken a moment to subscribe to the channel, what, the, what are you waiting for? Don't make me square up with you, okay? Don't make me square up with you. All right, let me bring up the next caller. I do feel like somebody could have left, whether it had been braids recording or aggressive, somebody could have left before it got to that point. I don't know if anybody has ever been in a dispute or an argument where somebody just had to leave the environment so that one or both of them could cool the f off. I've definitely been in situations like that where I've left, I've asked other people to leave and or the other person has left because sometimes tensions just get too high and it's no bringing it back. There's no level of calming down or trying to calm down your tone after the both of y'all have already been arguing. Like there's no walking that back in conversation. Sometimes somebody just needs to leave the hell out in order for it to um, reach a reasonable point. And especially when we talking about a friend. Now, if it's a random stranger on the street trying to G check you, baby, that's that's something different. You At this point, you running from the fight or, or, or just walking away. But, you know, for friends, sometimes somebody's got to be the bigger person in a friendship, right? This is not a street fight with strangers. Somebody could have been the bigger person here, okay? Amanda, thank you for calling in. What are your thoughts about this situation? Um, well, I'm Canadian. Oh. So I, and I've watched you since, your first original channel like I watched all your R. Kelly stuff um followed along with all that so big huge fan so I'm glad that I'm able to give you kind of my input on that mm -hmm. um, thank you so much I, being Canadian I definitely have a lot of different views on some of the things that you talk about um as for the police treating us different they don't treat us any different just because we're Canadian. It's the same damn shit. Hmm. Um, but I really wonder, like, what happened before she started recording? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I do agree with the last caller um, with the she's kind of playing off the Shanquilla stuff. Like, why not like you said, call the police. Why not, instead of going live on social media, why not call a friend, video call a friend? I've had to do that many times. So there's plenty of different options that she could have gone with instead of taking it to social media. Why did she have to go and do that? And then it does really sound like she is like taunting her so one part that I that I did miss if somebody had asked this was um did she invite her man or did he just show up as like sort of a surprise well it sounded like she invited him she said you been knew my man was going to be down here what's the problem with me having my man over on this vacation and when she said his friends were over here for you to entertain you. It, it, it was something that was premeditated between braids and her boyfriend. So some people want to place fault on the boyfriend. 
Look, he's a third party in this situation. He, the, the two friends that have an issue are the two friends that are on camera. Yeah, there thought. was no communication between them. And mm -hmm. if it's a girl's trip, what's she doing inviting her man? What is she doing inviting her man? If that is a girl's trip, it should be for the girls to do their girl things, mm -hmm. whatever that be. Yeah, they're going to be around other men, but mm -hmm. they're not going to be around their men. So they can act how they would act when they're out with their girls. Mm -hmm. So really, I feel like Braids did them wrong. I feel like she was the instigator. And in all honesty, there's sounds like a lot more to it than what they're letting on. And quite honestly... I think that they got into a brawl and she got her ass whooped <laughs> and that's why she ain't saying nothing. <laughs> that, that, it's not funny. Hold on. Let me get serious. Hold up. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's funny. <laughs> Cause it ain't you. <laughs> if you plan a girl's trip and then you invite your man, that's some shady shit. If you want to go on a holiday with your man, go on a holiday with your man. But don't plan it with your girls unless they are fully informed. Yeah, it, it does if seem they like they weren't fully, fully informed. informed. Then you totally in the wrong. And if they whoop your ass, well, you had it coming. You had it coming. Child. Now she had you it coming. Here's the behavior. You choose the consequences. Well, and, and you know I what? Mean, if aggressor do I goes to jail, her own hands? if aggressor goes to jail, then she had that shit coming too, because she definitely admitted oh, yeah. that she wanted to fight. Yeah, because they're they're grown ass adults. They're grown ass adults. I'm a single mom of twin daughters. Now, do I condone fighting? No. Have I fought? Yes. Will I fight in defense of myself or my children? Absolutely. But I'm a grown ass woman. I know that if I go out there and somebody's mouthing off, I have options other than knocking them the fuck out. There are options. Why didn't she leave? You talking all this shit about, oh, well, I'm going to call my man to come pick me up. Stop talking and do. Stop talking and do. Call a cab, go for a walk, cool off, let her cool off. If she does break all that stuff, then that is on her. And you go and you act accordingly that way. But you act like the grown up. You don't go and throw hands. That don't make you look like some grown ass person. Do you think that you're big because you can hold, because you can throw hands? No, what makes you big, what makes you strong is you being able to deal with that situation without having to physically harm somebody unless they harm you first. If you have to defend yourself, that's a completely different game. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, you know, it, it, it's, it's got to be communicated. Some girls trips, if you're single, and you communicate with your girlies, right? This is something that they, they that they have to be communicated about. Just like the movies, the movie Girls Trip with Queen yeah. Latifah and Jada Pinkett. Sometimes it is about getting some dick, right? But your home girls are aware of that. They're aware that somebody else is going to be there so that they can be a bit more on guard because there's potentially a stranger present. You know, I, I think that Braids was a little young minded to not fully inform her friends of not only the guest being her boyfriend, but the guests, the boyfriend's friends coming along too. I think this yeah. is the point that Dream and Edmund brought up. She said, this is weird because are we opposing fighting or encouraging it? If the results were more traumatic, would we say the same thing? I think it's an amazing point because let's just say aggressor did something like cracked Braids spine. Fractured yep. her skull, broke yep. her legs, paralyzed yep. her. What would we, you know, would we be caught up? Well, the technicality of girl code being broken and what would we care? What we have been like, you know what? Enough is enough. It didn't cause for that. Yeah. 
No, I, I think like, it's a good point. I will never, I've had my fighting days. I'm done with my fighting. Uh, it's, it's not something that I go to and it's not something that I would encourage. So in this instance, they both should have walked away. They mm-hmm. really both should have walked away. It, I mean, it's not worth fighting over some dude. It's really not. Mm-hmm. It's not. I mean, this is why I, I, I can't have like hot headed friends because I, I, you, I don't know what the aggressor was capable of, but she had already started destroying property. So sometimes when people want to be spiteful, when you leave and they know whether it be the apartment or the Airbnb is in your name, they finna destroy everything to make you but pay. that's stuff i mean it's stuff but uh, do you know the airbnb charges when you when you damage your home when somebody's intentionally going through she could have busted the tv broke all the tables broke all no, the glasses i, know. I mean I, that, that could have easily been an eight thousand dollar charge so yeah it's just stuff but at the same time i'm sorry eight thousand dollars now i'm gonna have to pull up and get somebody to beat your ass if i can't fight <laughs> i mean you know i'm just I'm yeah just talking shit but i'm just saying like eight thousand dollars and your credit is yeah. a lot of money that can impact if I'm able to go on a trip in the next six months or a year because now I have a bad rat with Airbnb. So- exactly. So I mean, it could really go either way, and a lot of emotions are going to be involved with it. So really, it's a double-edged sword. It's which way do you go? Do you go this aggressive way? And, okay, well, you're not going to ruin my credit. You're not going to harm me. You're not going to whatever and possibly face issues with the law. Or there's the alternative, and it's it's not really winning on either end. The only way it's winning is for braids recording is if she got hurt and she wants to press charges or take her to civil court criminal or civil court and she got this admission of guilt on tape but she has an yeah. old girl saying i want to fight so yeah at this point okay oh, i'm you, not against you thought her, it was like, worth recording it recording it on her phone yeah i mean if she didn't record it on her phone how else would she have proof if she didn't record it on her phone they would go down to the police station and be yeah. one girl's word against the other oh no like record it on your phone Call a friend, but why do you have to go live on like social media? Because uh, like if you don't get a chance, if you if you don't get a chance to send it, depending on how you don't know how long the video is gonna be. It's just like if I got yeah. if I left out here right now and I got pulled over, I wouldn't just record it on my phone. I'm going live because something could happen to me. I I I could be attacked. Uh that's fair. You, you, like you just you have no clue that's if fair. the attack is gonna be fatal or not. And I want this shit to be on the internet so that at the end of the day, there's justice for me. I can always go back and delete it. And that's exactly what old girl did. She went back and she deleted it. But her friends already had recordings of it. So she has her insurance. So do you think that by her doing it that way, that that made things worse by recording it? Because, I mean, she was just, she was crazy. I don't, but... I don't think it made things worse. I, um, I, I think she was upset with being recorded because the aggressor was already out of pocket. She knew yeah. she was acting unhinged. And that's why she, I don't want to be recorded. And, and and then for you to know you're being recorded and to not calm down for you to get worse. I think that, that sometimes you can clock when somebody, let's say the scale is one to 10. The girl got to a three, she got to a four, she got to a six. Girl's like, you know, before you get to a seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm going to have to get some shit on camera. You yeah. know, and, and I think that that the aggressor was already at the point where there was nothing that was going to calm her down. The guy was already gone. The guy was gone. So it's it's yeah. not like any of the men were still there. She was still increasingly worked up about the situation. So, so she my just opinion, was stewing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that she, I, I don't think that she made it worse by recording. I think that their girl was going to continue to, to come unglued. Yeah, and she did. Um, I, I don't blame the girl for recording. I know some people felt like she was taunting her. Maybe she could have used different language. Maybe she just could have been silent and recording her. But it's difficult, especially as a black woman, to let anybody, let alone another black woman, just mouth off and talk to you crazy while you just not say shit back. That shit 
it's hard. Like black women are very, we're very outspoken and, and I'm mulatto. Um, and, and sometimes, sometimes we match energy. You want to talk me crazy. I'm gonna talk to you crazy too. Um, and, and old girl was already acting crazy before she hit record. I, I don't think that it fanned any flames personally. Yeah. I'm a very light skin mixed race. So deal with a lot of same sort of attitude um but definitely different being canadian so i i will jump off of here and let somebody else call in um but thank you for letting me speak no problem thank you so much for calling in and shouts out to you and canada i like speaking to y'all thank you all righty see you next time Bye. bye bye okay let me see i saw a comment down here that was very interesting I said, once she recorded it, it went left. Even the cousin was like, why are you recording? My whole thing with the cousin being present is her only ally in that situation was the friend. So she's outnumbered. Like, imagine you're out with your one friend and they got two, three cousins there. So you and your friend are disagreeing and then your friends got three cousins here. You're outnumbered. Them cousins ain't on your side. (laughs) They on their side. Because that's their friend. So, of course, the cousins are going to say, why are you recording? Which is why I feel like Braids felt outnumbered. I would feel outnumbered, too, if I was disagreeing with one person. It's just it's just four of us in the room. And I got a disagreement with my friend. And then my friend got two, three cousins over here. You're outnumbered. And if anything goes left and old girl comes unglued at the slightest sense, you think the cousins are going to pull old girl off of you or help? The cousin stomp you, or if you recorded it and didn't go live, the cousins ain't gonna take your phone and delete the record so that there's no evidence that old girl put her hands on you first. I mean, it, it, it's it's almost like showing up on somebody else's lawn to fight them. You don't show up on nobody else's lawn to fight them. And you try not to initiate a fight when you know that you're outnumbered because you never know what type of alliance and loyalty they have being blood relatives. Her cousins weren't really trying to defuse the situation. Otherwise, they would have grabbed her by the arm and snapped her out of it. Yo, go outside. It's not worth it. Let's not do this. The cousins let the aggressor consistently turn up. So it it, it was a lose-lose situation for Braids. I, 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 them cousins weren't finna help anything, in my opinion. In my opinion. that That, that would be my thought. I'm disagreeing with one person in the room and they got two, three family members in here. Oh, hell no. They're not about to help me. Who's here to help me? Hell no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Um, not happening. Um, let me see. Braids and her dude was on separate trips and she decided to link with him on their last night. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about too many sisters acting like niggas. D voices, Ray Ray's always trying to check somebody. Mm. I mean, I, I, I can agree with that sentiment. I think before things get physical, people feel verbally threatened. And that is a like verbal fighting is a thing. And so I'm not about to let you talk to me any old type of way without me giving you some of that shit back. Um, I get it with just being flat out, like just ratchet for nothing. Like somebody look at you wrong out in public and you just, you ready to fight. Like, no, but don't think that you about to sit here and go rah, rah, rah and raise your voice at me and, and swirl your neck. And I'm supposed to sit there and give you these fucking therapist responses. Like, and how do you, and how can I make this better for you? Why? Why are you really upset with like that's not that's not what the fuck I'm about to do. It's, that's not what I'm about to do. If you can dish out these verbal lashings, bitch, take it. And if you feel like the verbal lashing has to lead to something physical, that's your fault, right? But if you want to rumble, let's let's rumble. You gonna have to hit me first, though. You gonna have to hit me first, though. You gonna have to hit me first, kick my cat, slap my mom, or slap my little sister in order for me to hit you first. That like that like. That's considered a first hit to me. Other than that, if you're trying to argue, then bitch, we're going to argue on the same level. Don't think you're about to talk to me crazy. And (laughs) (laughs) 
Like, you know, and sometimes, you know, sometimes women are aggressive, but if it's aggress aggression meeting aggression, then it's just matching energy. And, and, it, and it is a means of self-defense because sometimes people think that they about to fight you based off of how they can talk to you any old type of way. And you got to let them know, I got a mouthpiece too. back off. And you going about your fucking business. But if you just get meek and let people talk to you any old type of way, they're like, oh, yeah, I can beat up on this bitch. I I've been verbally beating up on it for a while. Now I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to put my hands on it today. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because I'm going to hurt your fucking feelings. <laughs> um, that's what I said. I said, I, I think she liked the old girl. I think she, that's what I said. I, I do feel like drinks were involved as well. Somebody was saying, oh, the, the, the men's was showing up with the bottles or something. Somebody was saying in discord earlier today. And, um, and, and I'm like, you know, and somebody, somehow the drinks got scared away because the men got scared away because when men show up, they bring liquor. I'm like, liquor has been involved. This is the last day of the trip. And it truly seemed like as easy as the aggressor got emotional, I feel like she had a couple drinks in her. Because who in their sober mind would get... Let, let's watch the video again. Just just to run it back for any new people who might have just gotten here. And let's try to reevaluate. And y'all tell me, if drinks could have been involved in, on, on both ends, to be honest with you. What do you expect on a girl's trip, right? These women don't look close to 40. They all look 35, 30 and under. 30, 35-ish and under. So it's definitely safe to assume that drinks were involved but let's take another look if you haven't already taken a moment to hit thumbs up make sure y'all smash that button okay i'm recording this video for my safety because because you're being real hostile you was being hostile because your cousin is here it is a girl's trip and she keeps saying i brought but i brought my my man came to see me the last night at our Airbnb. What you mean you want to like him? It was for you. They were his friends. They came. That's the problem. But she keeps saying she's not hostile. But you're hostile. Why can't my nigga be here on my last night? He's not bothering you. And this is what I mean by hostile. I came, I, I came here with her cousin, and now she acting weird because she want an audience. But this supposed to be my friend. These supposed to be my friends. Really? Now, 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 now. She now you either drunk off the liquor to be breaking dishes, or you drunk off them emotions because you wanted a piece of Miss Braids. That's my thought. She want to fight. Now she want to fight. Sober people don't break dishes. Sober people do not break dishes. And it is a thing to be drunk off your emotions. When you drunk off your emotions, it feels very similar to uh, a, a liquid drunk. A liquor drunk. It does. I've been there before. Okay? I ain't never broke no dishes, but I have been drunk off my emotions before. They feel similar. Old girl was drunk off something. I'm about to get and it's glass everywhere. Huh. This shit weird as And that's what she wanted was an audience. And I only went live, honestly, because I just don't feel safe. She got her cousins here. First off, you with your cousins, but she want to act weird. You know, you knew my dude was going to be down here. So, of course, he was going to come. Mind you, we got our own rooms. You see, you see what I'm saying? Why can't my man come to the Airbnb that I'm paying for? That's that's what I'm not understanding. And I just don't feel safe. I can't leave until tomorrow. And I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm about to call him to come pick me up because this shit weird as I just want to go live right now because she acting real different. I'm going to say, because you're acting hostile. I'm recording you because you're... But why are you so mad? I brought my. You know what? I'm about to keep arguing with you. I'm about to have. I'm about to have my man come pick me up. Stop following me, bro. And you supposed to be my friend, but you want to fight. I'm going. Like, I'm recording it. Like I said, I'm recording this video live. Y'all tag whoever the. F 
back at home that y'all know that's sending to me right now. I'm going live and I'm gonna stay live while I text him and tell him because it's just weird. The whole time she's mad because my man came the last night and he's not even here right now. Woo! And it's there to be in my name. I'm like, can you stop banging? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? I'm sorry. That's some scorn lover shit. For you to willingly break glass, bust down doors. She clearly broke two locks. The only people that are interested in destroying property after we part ways or have some type of difference that we cannot resolve are scorn lovers. Oh, man. Can you on your wrist playing giant. Now somebody made a good point earlier. Hold on. The only victim here is the cousin stuck in the middle. That girl can't hold her back. Somebody made a good point. Like, oh, she can record all this, but she can't give us an update. You know, now she want to be private about the update. I understand that. Um, I, I, I understand. Because, you know, once you give the internet an inch or something, they're invested. And they want more. It's just like celebrities want to share inch of their family or this. And then when people have questions, when shit don't make sense to the public, they got more questions and, 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 and they want more, you know, she shared this with the public from what she said out of, out of, you know, her, for her safety. And now people want more answers. Um, and so I get people want more answers. You know, when people are in legal proceedings and stuff like that, they can't just come on and spill all the beans. So I'm hoping that she's just not saying she can't speak on the follow-up because she just want to keep it to herself. I'm hoping that she's saying she can't speak on that because she is pressing some type of criminal or civil um, case against her. I hope she's either trying to press charges or get some, you know, because again, the woman admitted on camera, yeah, I want to fight you. Yeah, I do want to fight, right? And so if she incurred any injuries, the slightest, largest, whatever the case is, you know, I'm hoping that that's what the case is. If not, if she's not pursuing anything in court, then she's just trying to keep it to herself because maybe she felt like she didn't win the scuffle based off of how the phone dropped at the end. Maybe she felt she didn't win the scuffle. You know, that, 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 that could be what it is. That could be what it is. Um, you know, everybody's everybody's not a fighter. I understand that. So I'm not I'm, I'm not about to sit up here and you you, you should have just fought her. Some people just aren't comfortable, may have never been in one in their life. That ain't me. But I do understand, you know, especially watching the, you know, the Shankola thing. Some people just are not fighters. And and, and outside of Shankola, like some, some people just they don't know how to wrap their head around it. Um, so that's that. Let's get into our, which is probably going to be our last caller of the evening, the biggest troll of trolls, AMK Media. What What is going on and what are your thoughts? <laughs> You're going to die on that hill? <laughs> I ain't dying yeah. on no hill. What's the truth about you? You are a troll. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I actually, I'm, I'm very serious. Mm -hmm. I What's don't your troll. thoughts about this? Who's at fault? Whose fault is it that things got violent? Not whose fault is it that the the you know the conflict began in the first place, but whose fault is it that things got violent? Oh, um, the girl with the braids. Child, I, I think she's sneaky. Um, she just goes off that vibe. I know a sneaky woman when I see one, and she seems like that. And the way she kept saying "my man, my man" was very condescending, and we don't know what happened before that. Mm hmm. Condescending so, like she was throwing it in the girl's face, like the other girl. Was no, con condescending like um, she was being messy. And perhaps that was somebody else's man that they knew about. And that's why oh. she turned up like that. Yep. Oh, I never thought about it like that. Hmm. Was that somebody else's man? And that's why she kept saying that. Yep. Hmm. So, so she turned on that camera. You know what I'm saying? To try to get somebody caught up. Or to try to cover her ass. But either way, she's being sneaky about it. And that's why she ain't want to call the police or nothing. She's sneaky. Hmm. I don't think they was uh, you know, trying to do the homosexual thing like 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 you keep putting out there. 
Uh, yeah, it, it was, it was, it, I got scorn lover vibes from it. I've never seen someone act that way over girl cult. And, and when women are in relationship, girl cult varies from woman to woman, although there are a couple of like, like five, like solid rules. But even still, when you feel like a woman is breaking girl cult to get that emotional, your voice is shaking, you breaking dishes. That's not girl cult breaking behavior. Uh, she, she was in an emotional rage, like. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like she had some type of emotional attachment to somebody. So it just so happens her boyfriend just pops up and leave. Nah, something happened before that. I mean, of course he left. I mean, like old, old girl was bothered, but she turned up more then than she turned up at the at, at the time when the men were there. We don't know that. We don't know when she cut on the, that camera. Mm -hmm. When that camera was on, she, they, she was already turned up. See, you all here being being defense lawyer for the girl with the braids. No, I'm just thinking logically because there's no regular friendship where people are breaking dishes and getting emotional and busting down doors and trying to fight over. It was just supposed to be me and you chilling and you invited him. And, and now all of a sudden they break like that. That just doesn't it's, it's never going to make sense to me in a man to man friendship and a woman to me. Now, I can see that in a man to woman friendship because somebody might want more. But in a in a in a woman to woman friendship and a man to man friendship, that does not make sense. Well, that other girl probably got a text saying like it's over, and she turned up. Yeah, I'm telling you, like I think they was I think they were sharing some D. Like I think that's what happened, mm -hmm. and and that's why the girl was just oh my man, my man, really antagonizing her. Y'all y'all know how petty y'all women could be, man. Well, you know, the girl, the aggressor did admit that she doesn't like uh, um, Braid's boyfriend. She did Yeah, sure. The they, they all say that. Right. And I'm projecting. Oh. See, now, now I know where you're coming from with your energy. You you projecting. Okay. Could, yeah. Could <laughs> girl, I don't like him. I don't like him. Yeah, right. Coma's down the line. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Something happens. And, and you know that, like, come on. So, like, I, I think the girl in the brace, she was just being extremely, like, sneaky. Like, she just gave me, like, sneaky vibes. I don't, it, it's something there. Something else happened before that trip. And something else, and something happened before the guys came. And, and it, it, yeah, it, something is off. I do feel like and there I had to have been, th this, this seems like it might have been the last straw between them two. I, I don't feel like this is the first issue that they have had it, it 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 seems like there was some built up tension somewhere for whatever reason I, I i don't feel like this is the only issue or conflict that they've encountered exactly so i just think whatever it is i think it stems from the from the man that's that's what i think and i don't know I, you know i'm gonna have my binoculars out you know on this hill um, and, and, and when I'm right again, <laughs> because I'm going to be right about this. Watch, when it all comes out, guarantee you, it was some type of love triangle going on. Yeah. And that's why the girl, she don't want to say nothing. Because she knew she was dead ass wrong. And that's why she ain't want to call the police. Because she knew she was dead ass wrong. The police, the police don't give a fuck about no damn girl code. The person who was wrong was the person who laid hands first was the aggressor who in the eyes of the law, I get it. We talking moral shit, girl, cold, girl trip, rules of girl trip. That's not what the police is there for. The police is there for who, who was aggressive, who, who hit who first. So calling the police, even though you broke girl code, that don't mean shit to the police. So, I mean, her not calling the police don't, don't have anything to do with the, the moral standpoint that is the bulk of the discussion here. Oh, so we just discussing the girl code? Like I would, no, I don't know about that. Both, but it, you know, when you saying that's why she didn't call the police because she knew she was wrong. She was wrong by by way of girl code having cooth and common decency for respecting the trip and her friend's boundaries. But that's not anything that the police care about. But they do care about somebody being aggressive. Yeah, they would have heard that in the background. The They're not the one operator, which yeah. is not braids. <laughs> That's not brave. So yeah, they they would care about the other girl.
Exactly. And she wanted them out the Airbnb because they was breaking glasses and also it's in her name. Yeah, I mean, it, it was in her name. And I'm not yeah. sure if she could have got him out the Airbnb, but... Um, yeah, but regardless... You know, that, that breaking oh. stuff and stuff? Um, yeah, no. Nah. And, and it's not a skit. I see some people that think it was a skit. If it was a skit, here, here's what you got to understand about these skits. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of skits online where you would think, especially like relationship skits and, and stuff like that. The thing about skits is those people are wannabe struggle comedians or they need numbers and traction to their page. This girl wants this shit to low key go away. That's why she don't have it on her page. She's even asking some pages to delete the video. So if she was really trying to capitalize on this, she wouldn't let other pages keep the video up and she would come out and she would give some sort of update. Yes, I see that she's a digital content creator. So am I. So are a lot of other people. Hell, you, you I mean, just because she's a digital con, again, if she was doing this for views and it was a skit, she would be trying to keep the bulk of what, of, of, of the views and everything. Other than that, the blogs are capitalizing off on this and she's not. And she doesn't want to say anything else. She's not uploading any new pics. I'm wondering if her face is messed up, if her hair is messed up, you know, and this is a woman who, is beautiful, right? Because I've been all up and down her Facebook and Instagram today. She's beautiful and she knows she's beautiful. So she shows face, she shows body. Hell, she show ass sometimes. A lot. This is not a skit. If it was a skit, she you, would do you got her face. Instagram? Yeah, I do. I'm not I'm not sharing it here, but I, I'll share it to you in the Discord. Matter of fact, it's already in the Discord. Oh, okay. One earlier today, but yeah, you can go look. Yeah, she do look good. They in the I, I'm gonna definitely go look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, it, you know, if, if it was for views, trust me, she would be capitalizing. But instead, she's, I've seen her ask certain pages. I follow this page, it's got over 30,000 or 45,000 stuff um, on Instagram. And she's asking certain pages to take it down. She, she kind of feels embarrassed by it. And she, she doesn't have it up. Now, she understands she's, you know, so it's, it's not a skit to, to get away from that point. I just wanted to tell yeah, you. Yeah, like, I, I definitely don't think she's clout chasing at all because we would have got, all the details, you know right. what I'm saying? Like she would have been streaming been back to back, explaining it. It'd be a part one, part two. Let me tell y'all what happened. Like she, she would have made multiple. You know, she, she's trying to be quiet about, it and it seems that she's either embarrassed or pressing charges. The reason why See, she's like, not giving us more info is because she's embarrassed or pressing charges. Exactly. Like so, I know about clout chasing. You know, I know a lot about that. Mm -hmm, I know so, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um but no yeah, you think I, I don't that they think she's sharing a man or something like that and i'm just like i just I, I i i i can't see all that but i do see how it's plausible that's not what i deduce from it but i don't, I don't think it was about sharing pain. no I, I see where you're coming from jane like you're looking at the video and you're looking at what's being said and that's what you get it from like like those are the facts but like i'm looking like way past it like i'm i'm really speculating type shit i don't know but i just see the raw emotion from a woman and i've been in that situation before and usually when a woman has like that raw like that raw emotion it usually stems from an emotional connection like for real like that's what i'm saying i i i i've i've, I've 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 had women who have tried to befriend me and come to find out they like me and they flip over <laughs> little shit in the middle and I'm like what's what's going on? You deserve better than that and they ain't treating you and I'm like wait the fuck a minute like you, you know so seeing them emotion them emotions in that girl I'm like oh you you want her and that's my assumption I don't know but that's what I'm logically deducing from it like oh you you want a piece, damn. Right, Jane. They giving you like you know that fruity drink that 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 sneaks up on you, trying to catch you lacking. <laughs> <laughs> like, be careful out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Will do, and stop stop projecting. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. You started off this morning. I'm projecting, but <laughs> terrible, terrible, what? terrible. Well, okay, before you go, one more thing. What what do you think that women? I I, I don't see this happening on girls uh, guys trips in the news or in in public or online as much. What do you think women should 
consider or look out for before landing in these situations with so-called friends? Like what, what are some precautionary measures before they go to know if the friends are really for them? Like what should they do? Um, just really take heed of warning signs from the beginning. It's always a red flag, like from the very beginning. Um, usually women, like y'all, y'all want to be friends with everybody, like essentially, but you just have to know that everybody's not your friend, uh, for one. For two, um, um, this might come off as wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Your, your mother's taught y'all to put money. Wait, hold on. Um, your mother's taught y'all to keep money in your bra. Your mother's taught you as soon as you come in, you go take a shower. Like all, like all that is like subconscious to to have y'all being sneaky. What? So yeah, like money listen. in your bra is being sneaky. No, because y'all y'all constantly y'all keep things to yourselves. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't get pickpocketed from your titty. I know that, but I'm just saying, like, y'all keep money from, like, your significant others, too, like that. Because y'all will go in your wallet, but y'all will have something in your titty. You know what? I, you, you, I, 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 where the fuck is Come on, you know what I'm, come on, like, no, don't be like that. No, because that's, that's regular self-defense shit, and, and you never know who you're gonna need to defend yourself against. Everybody shouldn't have, you, you always need to have a back pocket. Yes, our mothers teach us to have a secret stash from our partner. Because exactly. Because at any time, anything can happen. That's exactly. not about being And, and I'm not, and I'm not, wait, you know. time out. I, I didn't mean to, okay, I didn't, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, right, <laughs> just take heed into knowing that everybody's not your friend and there's always going to be an alternative motive somewhere, somehow, and just, like, look for it. And if you see that it's about to go left, or it could go left, don't even go on a girl's trip or anything like that. Because there's always warning signs. There's always warning signs. Child, but money in the titty ain't it, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the chat, the chat going in on you. It's so funny. They should. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know why I asked you. I should have asked the women this when they was up there. This was like the a last question that came to mind. Lord have mercy. You are but, um no, nah, but like overall though, like um I don't know, like I just seen a lot of sneaky women. A lot of them. So just just be careful. Y'all smiling in each other's faces, but talk shit behind your each other's box and for us men like we, we really don't do that we usually cut the short shit short that's all i do agree with that men yeah man i mean don't, some men do talk shit but in in general women do do more of the two-faced shit to their own two women friends as opposed to you know as opposed to men men when i listen to man on man conversations sometimes they funny as shit because they, they they do they be they be kind of they be short when shit run out they be like all right you know you know. Yeah, I, I moved the fuck on like quick, so like I'm not I'm not willing to get into um, a heated discussion because like it, it could get physical, and once it get there, it's up. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, the chat is throwing tomatoes at you. I'll let you go clean yourself off. That's fine. <laughs> you could throw more tomatoes on me on Twitter. <laughs> So follow me on Twitter. You could throw a lot of tomatoes on me there. What is your name on um on Twitter? Um, they could just put AMK and it comes right up. Okay, cool. Let me put it bigger on the screen. If y'all really want to be triggered, okay, on site picked up one of his tweets and posted it earlier today or yesterday. I can't remember which one. But um, you know, if, if you're looking to be triggered or looking for somebody to playfully argue with, follow his ass on Twitter to either laugh at his mess. Or um or or get him together if you like, because he will go he will go back and forth with you all day. If he bored you, you need something to do it with. Okay. He will. <laughs> Not all day. <laughs> you will. You 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 be dying on certain hills, boy. I'll be like, okay. All right, but that's what that's when you see me type dot dot okay. I'll be like, okay, I'm over it. I'm gonna just let him go ahead and finish out his thoughts because Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of times we agree to disagree and like move the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> like that be it. 
But thank you for calling in. I do appreciate your perspective, although 85, 90% of it was trolling. It, you know, it was a sprinkle of, a sprinkle of truth here and there or a, a sprinkle of, of good faith speculation since we really don't know exactly what happened. But thank you for calling in and support. And I really do appreciate that. All right. Thank you, Jane. All right, back. Mm-mm-mm. The tr the biggest troll of all trolls. No, but it, it was it was nice having a man call in. No other man um no other man called in. So that was nice. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, somebody said MLK is dead. Yes, yes, indeed he is. Mm -hmm. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I have a couple of closing thoughts, and ladies, I really want you all to leave the question I asked him that he ain't take serious. Talking about titty money and shit. Survival skill, okay? Keeping a side stash away from your spouse is a survival skill. Whether you're a man or a woman, anything could happen. And you need something to back yourself up when, um, if, if, and you would hope it doesn't, but you can't clock accidents or some of the, the, the worst case scenario type of situations. Don't let nobody make you think they're keeping money in your titty. <laughs> As opposed to your wallet where people can steal it or keeping a side stash is a bad idea. It's not, even though he was trolling, but it's just a point. Um, the question that I want to know from the ladies, okay, is what do you think women should do, right? I, I know there's one person in the chat that just keeps saying abolish all girls trips. Like, okay. Um, and what do you think that women should or could do in order to prevent situations like this? In order to prevent being up in a situation where you're miles away from home, whether it's been a bus trip, y'all was on a plane, hell, you could be out the country. And you end up in a situation where you find out that them friends that you on that trip with ain't for you. And it, it could be a dangerous situation, whether it's a physically dangerous situation, a financially dangerous situation. Hell, I don't know. They could take your wallet, steal your money, take your passport. You don't know. Right. What are the signs? What what is it that we can learn from? And what can we do on a on a preventative scale in order to avoid situations like this? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to gather my, my final thoughts. Hmm. I'm going to gather my final thoughts. I have a couple of them that I want to share with you all. I want to get your closing thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Titty money is great. Don't play with me. Mm, a little bit of titty money. My grandmother taught me to actually take a baby sock and safety pin it to your bra. And put your, you know, you, I mean, you can just put the money right in your titty. But you know, the, the number two things on money is feces and cocaine. So, I mean, hey, you know, sometimes you just, you ain't got no damn sock or a, a titty wallet, right? But, you know, my grandmother taught me to, to safety pin a baby sock and put your money in there. And, you know, old people got innovative shit for days. Not ghetto, innovative. Um, But... On a serious note, what can we do to look out for certain signs and to avoid going on trips with friends like this? Let me know your final thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm going to gather the rest of my final thoughts and find the right words so that I can get it out in a concise way that actually makes sense. And then I'm going to go, um, I'm, I'm going to get our co-host Leo while I play this and let him come back and tell us what he thinks about the situation. I know a lot of y'all are here to see Leo and not me. A lot of y'all don't give a fuck about me. Y'all only care about the cat. It's okay. It's okay. He's the co-host. All right. So drop your final thoughts. Hit thumbs up if you haven't already. Okay. Make sure you subscribe as well. It's okay to agree to disagree. A lot of people that called in didn't agree with me, but it is refreshing to have these conversations. And I think it's a healthy thing to do to learn how to agree to disagree because this helps us deal with conflict, which is something that in our community, we don't really deal with an opposing train of thought well at all. Okay. Drop your comments. We're going to be right back. Okay. The plain is Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I love me some black. And she said, loves me some <laughs> black news. She says, is it just me? Or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? So 
on, wait a minute. You ain't joined the channel yet so that you can access special perks over here with the plainest Jane. Roll us on your wrist of plain Jane. Ooh, watch this. Hey. I'm the plainest Jane. I'm a cultural commentator and informant, and I provide sticky coverage on trending stories, black news, black culture, and everyday topics with a sticky abstract perspective. <laughs> so get familiar with the perks. I've carefully curated all of these things, and it's just a little exclusive glaze to amplify the way that you express yourself. <laughs> so get comfortable, get used to our official emoji over here. That is the pancake stack, because it's always sticky in Hollywood and in real life, and especially when you spend the time over here with the plainest Jane. Like I said, I hope you enjoy the exclusive glaze that I've provided for you to amplify the way you express yourself, and I hope you enjoy the digital vibe. Hey listen, I always want you to keep it sticky, but be sure to think critically and independently, regardless of what you hear from me or anybody else. But most importantly, I hope that you're feeling all right, and hopefully you've had some time to tackle some of your invisible problems. I know I got a couple of new subscribers, and I just want to say thank y'all. I really do appreciate you. And if you're not quite feeling all right, this channel right here, once you join, it's going to help you kick back and decompress always but it'll also keep you in the know with what's happening with the best black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. So again, get comfortable. The first drink is on me, I right? Act like you got some sense, and I'll see you around. But don't forget to keep it sticky 24-7 by following me on Instagram, but hit that notification bell so that you always know when I upload and you get your dose of syrup first. Now with all that stickiness being said, the most important thing I want you to remember about this neck of the woods in the plainest Jane is Black Lives Matter. And if you don't agree, buy pumpkin, buy pumpkin. That will take you out. I don't play that shit. Now you gotta go for real. It's just that simple. <laughs> hey look, whether you join or not, I do want you to stay beautiful, black, and blessed. And just know I appreciate your support. I'm your girl the plainest Jane. And let's see what's happening in these virtual streets. You ready? All right now. <laughs> this could be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. All right, and we are back. I want to give our final thoughts. The question that I am going to leave everybody with today. Okay, I clearly owe this cat something. In order for me to lure him up here, I had to offer him a little, uh, a little, a little, little payment. Let me. He said, "You're not gonna forget to pay me." You lured me up here. Give me what I'm owed. Y'all see his chain? His gold chain comes in the mail on Wednesday. Y'all know he needed a new collar. That old one looked so bad. Oh, he messed that old collar up so bad. You gonna say hi to the people first? Say to the people, look in to the, say hello. All right. You're not gonna say it. Got your collar inside out. There you go. Big drip. There you go, big drip. Okay. Big drip. You ready to get down? Wait, I'm, I wanna give you, I'm gonna give you one more, okay? Get that? Okay. All right. All right, big trip. That's it. All right. Now, why would you think that it's acceptable for you to get comfortable right there? Big drip, can you get down, please? Get down. Get down. Y'all can't see his mouth open, but he talking back. Get and get that butthole out of everybody's face. All right. Okay. I think what did I just give him? Four? I lose count sometimes because he's so cute, right? Right. Okay. Here are my final thoughts on what to look for girls' trips to make sure you're not like on a trip with somebody that you think is your friend and it's not. And you know, this generation, this day and age, we throw around the world the word friend way too loosely, right? Learn how to go from an acquaintance, associate, acquaintance, homegirl, um, person that I talked to. Like it, it's definitely levels, right? My thought is this, like I was saying earlier, I had a roommate when I was 19, 20 years old and she was like 33 at the time, okay? She was more than a decade older than me. 
and I was very immature. I was, I was, I, I moved out when I was 18. I had lived in one spot. It was time for me to go to the next spot. And, um, I would, I would try to bring men over there and she let me know off rip. This is where I lay my head. This is where we lay our heads. I don't feel comfortable with this off rip, not, not later on when they leave set boundaries, her boundaries were firm. And like I was saying earlier in the video, I thought it was extra. I thought she was doing too much. I thought she was being, uh, no, I, I totally understand. You have to be that way about your home. These people can come back and they could rob you. You know, they know where you live. They could come back and they could harm you. And these are men and we're women. So you have to know where those boundaries lie, set boundaries down, lay down your ground rules. And if you've never had to set a boundary with a friend, if you've never told that friend, no, I think another test of whether another test of whether you should go on a trip with somebody is have y'all ever gotten into a disagreement before? Have you ever told this person no before? And how did they react? Did they zap out? Did they invite you somewhere and you said no and they gave you the silent treatment for two weeks because they felt like, oh, you instead of talking to you, like, you know, that hurt me when I invited you to my such and such event and you couldn't be there or I invited you out for brunch and you couldn't come. Are they willing to talk it out like adults or do you got to read between the lines on some old, she not talking to me right now. Maybe in three weeks we'll be talking. That's the type of person that you more than likely shouldn't be on a trip with, in my opinion. Um, because those type of things when, when, you know, when you're on vacation, it's, 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 it's like placing your issues in, in, um, in a toaster oven in an air fryer in, in a whatever it's going to explode. It's going to explode. So I think um, having already laid down your boundaries and your ground rules, sometimes you got to practice telling people no. Hell, they, they, they might ask you to do something and you just need to, you need to tell that person no once or twice before y'all go on a trip to see how they react. Because if they about to flip their lid because you gave them a no, you're not always going to be able to oblige. And that goes both ways. I'm not always going to be able to oblige what you want or require when you invite me out and when you want something of me in this friendship. And, and it goes vice versa as well. But if you're about to lose your shit over a no, right, which is nothing more than a, manipula uh, a manipulative tactic. I'm going to give him the silent treatment. I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not going to invite him to the next thing. I'm going to turn up with our other friends online so that they can see it without telling them. That's childish as fuck. And I would not want to be miles away from home with that type of behavior. Hell, I don't even want to be 10 miles away from home with that type of behavior because it's childish. If I hurt your feelings or I let you down, you can let me know. Hey, you know what? That, that let me down, but you know, maybe at the next one. And then maybe we can meet in the middle. Well, you invited me on a Wednesday. You know, I work late on those days and then I'll be tired when I get off. Maybe next time, you know, I'm always free on Thursdays and Saturdays, right? Like y'all got to be able to talk it out. If y'all can't talk y'all shit out, if y'all can't talk y'all shit out, oh, Street TV is in here. What's going on? Street TV, what is going on? Thank you for stopping through. Congratulations to you for all of the work that you've done with the Megan Tory recordings, the evidence that's been released. Shout out to you. You did a really, really good job with the phone call and the Kelsey interview and all that other stuff. Thank you so much for stopping through and supporting my channel. I didn't know you watched my shit. I watched your shit, but I didn't know you watched mine. Thank you so much. Um, OG on YouTube, check out, um, street TV's channel if you haven't already. Okay. Um, but yeah, you should be able to talk those things out with, with your friend. Um, when y'all have a disagreement. Okay. I joined an ex friend of 20 years for dinner with a group of her friends out of nowhere. She acted irrational and weird. She became angry out of nowhere and almost killed us in a car accident. See, I don't play them type of games. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. I don't care if you're my regular friend, if you're my family member, or if you're the person that I'm in a relationship with. If you cannot drive like you got some sense when we're having a disagreement, when you're angry, baby, all bets are off. Pull this shit over. Pull this shit. There's nothing worse than somebody that's pretending like, they, like they're okay. And they want to drive like a maniac because they're upset. That, that is not funny. It's not cool. I get it. There's some things when, you know, you're angry in, in your relationship, you know, y'all might have a silent trip home because I'm, I'm, I'm over here thinking what I need to think in you over there because we don't see eye to eye right now. Silent trip, maybe even a silent night and tomorrow morning, 
we can have a conversation about last night. But if you're going to be driving like you're a fool, oh, no, 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 no. I can't tolerate that. I can't tolerate that. I guarantee you the next red light you stop at, I'm hopping out. <laughs> I'm hopping out. If I got to grab the handle from the up top <laughs> to make, mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't do that. Also, if you're my cat and you're and you're trying to get out the room while I'm filming, I can't bring you on vacation. Leo will never come with me on vacation because he I, he don't like being in foreign places. So he's gonna have to stay with the friends. <laughs> he won't have to stay with the friends. She wanted to take the IG aesthetic, and those are not your friends. I know my friends, and none of those could ever happen. I'm looking for your other comments. Um, Miss Marmar, because I saw in the Discord you told me to get your comments. I think the only prevention is to truly know who it is that you're around. Keep your fun friends and your real friends ooh, separate. She had that Erica Banks energy. Oh, that's a good point. Remember Erica Banks talking about, oh, the only girls that can show me in the club are the ones that got a certain look. They got to have a certain look to them. If it's all about the look and you you think that the only people who can accompany you while you're out on a on an extravaganza or whatever you're doing, whether it be the club, a trip or whatever, and it's about the look, you kind of already fucked up. Like I get it when you have a certain style and somebody else kind of like matches your style, but sometimes you really got to look for friends on the inside and not the outside. And so sometimes you, you're going to have to accept a friend that don't dress like you, that dresses a bit different. And you might even delicately work your way up into maybe helping them um, look in a way that you feel is more suitable, right? If, if, if they walk around in sweatpants all day, you might want to help them get some affordable, you know, th that's what being a friend is about, right? Leo, here, come on, because you, you can't keep doing this. So, okay, another thought, stop taking girl, stop taking trips with girls you call friends but have a serious issue, but have had a serious issue with in the past. That's another good point. If y'all have had knockdown, drag out issues, explosive issues in the past, what would make you think that traveling and being hundreds of thousands of miles away from home, why would you think it'd be any different? It, it's going to be worse. You know, people, people feel like they're, uh, you know, when you're on vacation, you're, you're already feeling a little gassed up. I deserve this. I deserve to be on this vacation. You know, you, you feel a higher sense of self and you feel it's slightly more audacious when you're on vacation than when you're at home. I deserve this. Oh, I'm not having no bad energy. Mm, mm, mm. You, you might even be a bit more snippy. Right. So, yeah, vacation is not going to help you and your friend who have had constant issues suddenly get along better. And that's a regular friend or romantic relationship. I do agree with that. OK. If someone said travel alone. That's, that's another way. That is another way to do it. Um, Let me see. I take a little titty money in a clutch. <laughs> Bye, Gex. <laughs> You are a fool. Street TV said your cat is jealous. He is. He likes all the attention. He likes all the attention. Um, but I do. Leo is acting like the aggressor. Exactly. He's being aggressive with me about these treats. And he's already had six. So it's not the so many more he's about to get. Okay. That's it for him. Can't have him bouncing off the wall. All right. Um, get a couple more comments. I feel like we hold on to friendships too long sometimes and may not notice that there's an animosity or envy from so-called friends, being that we still hold on to them on how things used to be. Very good point. And I feel like this is like one of those rules that are um, dual that also applies to relationships as well. You hold on how, I mean, any relationship, it, it could even be a family member, a familiar relationship. You hold on to how things used to be, hoping that maybe one day it'll get back there. But really, based on time, things have continuously worked farther away from how they used to be and how you want them to be and what's comfortable for you. 
This person's consistently making you uncomfortable, pushing your buttons. You know, you got to be tense when you're around them because you're like, lately things have been like this. Um, things don't just revert back to how they used to be, especially without clear communication. Um, and some people are just determined not to change. And you have to be willing to see that as well. Okay. Um, hey, bossy, happy new year. Happy new year to you as well. Um, I agree with that, Cameron Jones. Yeah, very good point. Someone said, I don't travel with people I have issues with. Exactly. Exactly. Especially if you're not the type of person to talk it out. Some people are eager to talk their issues out because they don't like silent tension. I'm, I'm one of them people too, especially if it's something that is get overable, if it's a miscommunication, but if it's like blatant disrespect, like blatant disrespect, like there's nothing to get over here. There's nothing to get over at all. Okay. Popular opposite friends make the best friends. Mm -hmm. They said braids Instagram is fire. Bye. This was um this was really good and really insightful for us to discuss. Let me see. My best friend and I are polar opposite. She's outgoing, overly chatty. She's a total extrovert. I'm more introverted and not particularly chatty. And we've been friends for ten years. Yeah, you know sometimes you can't always go for the people who seem to be just like you. Because sometimes you may clash sometimes. And it's the same way in relationships. Like I am very talkative, clearly very talkative. Um, I think I'm an introverted extrovert or an extroverted introvert, whatever the case is, because I'll, I'll decide that I want to go out and 10 minutes later, I'm like, okay, let's go home. Depends. It depends on the day and the mood. But I, um, I probably have dated two very talkative men very talkative, very opinionated men. And it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I like more chill guys who, um, not to say I like my men to be a mute, but you can't be as talkative as me. It's just not going to work. It's just, it's just not going to work. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it really just has to be opposites. It's a girl's trip, but the level of anger with the guy or guys over from one night was an inappropriate amount of anger for the situation. I agree. Don't go on trips with your friends that get on your nerves. Nine times out of 10, your trip will be shitty and you'll want to fight deep down. Whose problem is that really? Yeah, especially if you, that's my thing with the aggressor, right? Th this woman said, my man, I, I don't know how many times, my man and my man. And why would you think that my man and my, you can't, this can't possibly be the first time that you see that her man is a priority to her sometimes to a fault um that may get in the way of y'all's friendship there's no way that this is the first time that y'all you're, you're just hearing and seeing this my man my you know she's she's clingy i don't know if it's a new relationship or if she you know she's a codependent type of a person they have a codependent type of a relationship but you know you you've got a responsibility to peep some of the red flags too i think that both of them could have seen some red flags prior to be honest with you um sometimes we use the he or she just acts funny at times statements ignoring red flags or we encourage and use covert language like they'll get over it when someone acts out good point that's another really good point too why is it shady to have a guy over when someone is grown and no adult should be putting their hands on someone exactly exactly okay oh i'm so sorry your best friend passed away disney diva i'm so sorry I don't do toxic. If you give off funky energy, I'll cut you off with the quickness. I agree. Okay. I'm an extroverted introvert. I have a very low social battery, but I like to socialize. Same, same, same. It's, it's easier for me to socialize online than in person. And it's not that I can't socialize in person. It just really depends on if I'm comfortable at the event. Did I have enough time to get ready? Because if I didn't have enough time to get ready, I'm already showing up with a depleted battery. Um, am I really feeling like these people around me are... For it, it, it really depends. It really depends for me. Um, my man is also quieter than my talk of the best. He loves it. Exactly. Because, you know, quiet men, they're also pretty entertained by somebody that's talkative because typically they're just like quiet. They're always in their thoughts. And a quiet man is excited and feels like you bring the fun and the excitement to y'all's like situation. You're always going to have something to say. You're always going to have an idea. You're going to have a new idea for a dinner, a new spot for y'all to try, a new spot to go, a funny idea, some something for y'all to trip at. Otherwise, he's just quiet in his bubble. So 
a guy that's talkative with a woman that's talkative, sometimes it can just it can just be a battle. And I'm sorry, I've got to get my thoughts out. Mm, I've got to get my thoughts out. <laughs> um. All right, let me read a couple more of these comments. They look a little old for a girl's trip, especially from men that sleep on the couch. How I, None of them look over 35. And braids doesn't seem to be anything over 32 for me. Like, what's too old for a girl tr girl's trip, though? What's too old for a girl's trip? The sleeping on the couch thing, not confirmed. Not confirmed. But I can see how irritating that could be, though. Visiting is one thing. One annoying thing. But sleeping on the couch on a girl's trip, three men sleeping on the couch? Yeah, I would be bothered. I would be very bothered. Although that's not a confirmed fact. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's hard when you used to being by yourself I can't get with all these people being in my personal space <laughs> the red flags there you toss it to the side in a moment of fun not me my sanity is more important from the clip it was not a fight about a dude it was someone behaving irrational and another person being terrorized victims aren't perfect that's true victims aren't perfect and i'm not trying to make it seem like braids is perfect i think both of them have their flaws and i think they both had some you know the communication was missed on both ends aggressor did not make her boundaries clear and she wanted to turn up at the end instead of properly communicating what made her uncomfortable from jump and making sure that a, she didn't allow it to happen, or B, she removed herself from that situation so that she doesn't have to get out of character. Because breaking glasses and putting your hands on people is some shit that can get you in trouble. And it's unbecoming, right? So you need to make yourself clear before you go and explode like a volcano and, and, and pretend like, oh, because it was a girl's trip, that's why I went off. No. No, you should have made that shit clear. You should have laid your boundaries down. And, and laying your boundaries down will make other people uncomfortable. But you were made to be uncomfortable by the man, the men showing up, right? Use your words and say that shit. Use it, you know? Sometimes you'll have friends where y'all can read the room. You can, you can see your friend have a certain response and you're like, mm, that's not a good idea. It don't seem like my friend feeling it. Other times you have to spell it out. And clearly braids needed it spelled out for her. She didn't feel like she did anything wrong. Hell, there were people that came through this chat and said, um, what's the big deal with her bringing a man? There's still some people that feel like there's nothing wrong with that. And therefore, because everybody has different levels and tolerance levels and what they're going to accept and tolerate, right? And girl code varies from person to person, although there are a solid like five rules. You need to make that clear. Nobody's a mind reader. And clearly Braids wasn't a mind reader, but clearly aggressor wasn't a mind reader either to understand. She told the aggressor her nigga was going to be in town on this girl's trip. And aggressor, you know, so there was some miscommunication points on both sides, okay? Somebody says, say room again. Room. Is it, I say it like Baltimore. Y'all don't play with me. I say it like Baltimore. <laughs> don't travel with nobody that's financially struggling. Oh, that is a good point. Y'all go out to eat and be like, girl, you know, I, all, all the money I had was to pay for the trip. I don't got no, mm-mm. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Um, attack for no reason, gang up. It's so funny that we've all accepted that her name is Braids. At this point, her name is Braids. <laughs> her name is Braids. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with any age of women going on a girl's trip. A lot of older women do it all the time. Yeah, I think there's no expiration date on girls' time or guy time. Men need time with their homeboys just like women need time with their friends. Okay? Um, huge master sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I think I've pretty much gotten to all of the... Usually money is an issue if you have to pay for somebody's trip. Mm -hmm. Communication is key. Just because it's not offensive to you doesn't exclude others from being offended. Okay? We have to stop being ignorant and entitled to how other people feel. It's exactly. And that's exactly why you have to communicate what your boundaries are. People people don't know. You know, everybody has a different pet peeve or a boundary. Everybody's boundaries aren't the same. You've got to communicate that shit. And if you communicate it clearly, hey, I feel uncomfortable. I feel unsafe with these men coming over here. This is where we sleep. We're women. You didn't tell us about this. I feel uncomfortable. Say that. Say that. 
Don't just make a face and think because you got quiet and you started acting a little bit funky, your friend was supposed to know. She was so busy smiling at her nigga's face, she didn't catch how you were uncomfortable. And not that that's an excuse, but use your words. Use your words, okay? Um, Y'all talking about say it again. Don't be talking about the way I say room. <laughs> um, so that is that. Um, I love the accent for once. I can tell someone. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I know her name. I just I didn't want to put it out there like that. I'm not sure if she can really handle all the publicity. Um, so I, you know, I, I've been all up and down her Instagram and Facebook all day today. But look, this has been such an amazing show. One time for the one time for AMK Media that decided to call in clowning real bad, acting like women are sneaky for putting money in their titty in separate accounts. Let me get Tyra Banks. No, should we go to the bush? It's a brand new year. Should, we gonna, we gonna start off with gentle loving, okay? Let's go to the bush. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. I should have played that earlier for FameCon, <laughs> for AMK Media, okay? But nonetheless, we always want to go to the bush and weep. This was some really sticky shit. I really enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed the people that called in. Whether you agreed or disagreed, I love the fact that we can come here, we can have a discussion without anybody feeling attacked because somebody doesn't agree, okay? So this was an amazing um an amazing stream. Thank you so much to everybody that called in that was live on the air. It means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of you stickies. Listen, let me let, let me tell you something. If y'all don't hit thumbs up on y'all way out the door, we're going to have a problem. <clears throat> We're going to have a problem. So make sure y'all hit thumbs up on the way out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for also checking the community tab, whether you're a channel member or not. If you're a channel member, you've got special community tab post and I posted something right before this video went live um and to the channel members y'all know what I'm about what I am about to get off and watch okay don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel it is linked down below in the description box at tpj network click on it down below make sure you subscribe I'm going to be using that thing a lot more okay don't forget to do something to relax today it's literally 12 47 over here in Baltimore like quarter to one OK, but let me know your thoughts on this entire sticky situation involving this girl's trip gone wrong. OK, I love y'all so much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. OK, for more friendly chaos. Y'all know I'm I'm on the committee. I'm on the board of black Twitter representatives. OK, so follow me over there because it's always up and it's always stuck and it's always something funny. I've always got my finger on the pulse. But all right. Subscribe. Thumbs up or down. Either way, I appreciate it. But be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of this celebrity or trend insert because, you know, things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life over here. And don't forget to drop some of them pancake emojis down below. Y'all stay beautiful, black, and blessed until the next video. Deuces. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.